lovely YouTube people, welcome back. Um, this is the second time I've said this. Um, hopefully for you, it's only been a day since um, between streams. But for me, I got horrendously sick with the flu. Um, I'm still recovering from that. So my voice may sound off. Maybe you don't even notice, um, but I will likely be coughing and sniffing and whatever during the stream. I apologize, it's because I've been sick. Um, where we left off, it's kind of a debate whether or not I finished Act 2, started Act 3. Some people view this as the sort of end-ish of Act 2, but I think Act 3 really begins when we enter Baldur's Gate proper. Um, so in today's stream, we are like officially, officially ending Act 2, starting Act 3. Um, and in today's stream, we are also upping the difficulty to Tactician difficulty, um, because that was something that we unlocked as a donation or like a sub goal. So I'm gonna do the save here as pre tactician for whatever reason that feels like the right thing to do uh and now we change the difficulty <laughs> from balance okay Ch obviously we're going to change it from balance to tactician but if we can pause for a second this is a starian at what stage in the development cycle was this a starian met because this does not look like a starian now and i don't even think it's like meant to be a different artistic like rendition of it because lazel looks the same will looks the same karlak looks a bit different karlak's ears are longer what's going on with this guys what's the deal hey grateful red thank you for the tier one four months you love Lovely. and thank you guys for the hellos to youtube and that's true come join us on twitch youtube we're very fun thank you guys for saying that chat said it not me but also i wholeheartedly agree with that miss kitty hey just went 100 hours in act three so far curse my completionist brain that's you and me both miss kitty welcome in is that your man's java he's man that's him he's man but that's actually not him i actually don't recognize him like that to be honest the story didn't change much but his outfit in this yeah in the, this pick is an old one it's interesting you can it's a different face structure as well the outfit's different to me the face structure looks a bit different the hair is a little is it yeah i don't know oh no 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 sorry the mouse scroll wheel does that and i just wasn't expecting mouse scroll wheel to do that that's my bad yeah super early in development i'm just surprised that they didn't update it like i enjoy i i'm it's a pleasant surprise i'm just surprised nonetheless um okay <laughs> okay but now we do this actually as a new save <laughs> post post tack tactici tactician i'm dyslexic leave me alone <laughs> I'm dyslexic, leave me alone. Um, okay. Oh yeah, and also a lot of you recommended I really should get better at using the mouse, this mouse to change the camera. Need to find a way forward. Um, because I think it actually probably is a lot easier to do it like that. We can talk like to Jahira. Shadowheart has found a little bit of herself again. So Luna cannot take all of the credit. She may have lit the way, but it is the cleric who took this step interesting stuff i like this outfit i like this hair very much yes camp's like an intermission then you need to rest at camp yet yeah, and carry on so we'll talk to people rest at camp and then we'll carry on thank you guys for the follows by the way welcome in hey lap dance how's it going lovely we're still not ba having back seating on tactician so this is the way it'll go um we typically don't allow back seating during the combat stuff or like i will be like really focused in on combat and i'm just not like interacting with chat as much frankly i do that also so that i can like get through it quickly otherwise i could drag it on for ages um and we want to get to the juicy juicy cutscene goodness um not me being stuck in combat for ages um but we do have a safe word or like a yeah you could safe word you still call it which is kit kat um so I'm, you may be hearing me say that more often. And I may be going to you guys, oh, what do I do? I just assume it'll be me having to redo fights or I'm just that good. And I actually don't need to redo the fights at all. That speaks well <laughs> of your taste. <coughs> my share of bad ballads about things I never did. If you have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. Okay. 
Um, is it true that you fought the dead three before? It was Baal alone we faced in our time. And bad as that was, he had no elder brain for a lapdog then. Look at how gorgeous. Won't come from the history books or from any old tales I can spin you. This is your story to write. <laughs> there. Have I fulfilled my role as your wise and wizened elder? Okay. Please, you're only one of those things. Don't tell me which. Against all life experience, I will choose to assume the best. She's lovely. I want to ask you something. Ask it. You mentioned you know something of the lithids. More than I would like. In my youth. I was a brief and very much unwilling member of a colony's hive mind. I felt the way they think, saw the world as they do. Foul, unnatural creatures who find the foulness in us and twist it to their will. But then, who am I speaking to? You have far more experience than I. Who, is, who are you speaking to? Maybe I'm the parasite puppeting this body? It's different this time. The elder brain is a slave itself. My mind is still my own. I plan to keep it that way. I believe you. You remind me of another I knew. Marked by forces beyond their control. The gods can grant power or strip it away. But so long as your will remains, you have the only weapon you need. Lovely. That was great. I like that. You know what I bet? Because Jahira is a car a character. Jahira is a carry over character from the other, at least one of the other Baldur's Gate games, I think. So I bet that conversation has a lot more oomph and impact if you are familiar with the storyline of the other games, which I'm not. Um, I still miss Kit Kat Chunky. Stop. How oh, I sleep. Hey, Tushka, thank you for the gifted sub. You love me. And thank you. I'm going to say thank you for the follows, guys. And I normally don't shout out followers by name. Because, you know, it's like giving you guys privacy. You want to follow in peace, you follow in peace. You know, you don't want to be put on blast. However, comma, I will put this name out on blast. Because the name of uh, the the person that uh, followed is Java, please play Dead Space. <laughs> oh, the, the game volume's low. Is this good? Is that better? Sorry, guys. Sorry that it was low. Hopefully that's fixed it. Um, we'll know better, obviously, when I get in conversation. Hello, Java. Please play Dead Space. Welcome in chat. How's it going, lovely? How I sleep knowing that this is the only playthrough I see in a story in romance because I choose Shadow Heart 10 out of 10 times. I'm glad I'm giving you that good, good content. Um, is it still quiet for you guys? Here, well, here. Well, let's, let's see. Let's get in conversation here. I wasn't expecting it. But better. I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Much better. That's a lot better so far. Okay, sorry guys. Sorry. I don't know why it's like that. Um she doesn't have anything new to say. I know I know that typically like um characters that have something Oh here. What? What a nice treat for me. He he he. What can we talk about? One last sex scene? Shadowheart was no true child of Shah, merely a captive. She must have her vengeance. Agreed, agreed. Okay. Um Where where is this the rest of camp? Well this isn't I don't know if this is the whole rest of camp. Thank you guys. Darwin, welcome in lovely by the way. How long am I streaming till? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, oh, the Colax there. Shit. Um, I would like to do at least three hours. Um, From Shadow Heart. She's been jerked around so much. I want to believe the gods keep this world balanced, but sometimes, sometimes I wonder. Interesting shift in music, and yet I can't ask her more. I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And 
My father. I heard what happened. What he become by killing him. You set him free. You set Alien free. And me. You and Aiden seem to have a lot of history. What happened? A great deal. Buckle up. But still, some of the details elude me. Catherick Thorne is, was, my father. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, Saluna. had wished. Saluna. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? Certainly there's magic in a look. That's exactly it. And I tell you, I took one look at her and I just knew she was it. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why. But all was black. 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 Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. Did we know that chat? Did we know that she had died? Or is this my first time learning this? This feels like my first time learning this. I just noticed well on your minimap. I think anyone who wants to speak to you shows up in a circle. Ah. And this campsite's huge. Okay. Yeah, time to... S I'm saving a star in for last, of course. But I'm very excited. Yeah, the ending in E in Saluna is like the French unstressed E sound. Hey, Revolver Girl. Lovely. How's it going? Uh, three. Welcome in. Chat moving so... Ha <laughs> How's it going? Just want to say hi and I have hemorrhoids. Good luck with your hemorrhoids. Hey, well, unfortunately, I have to go to work, Eddie. You lovely. Thank you so much. Have a good time at work. Yeah, we knew this. We knew she died, right? I might have just forgotten that. Um, he'd become the chosen of Mer Merkel. I hate that this is Merkel. I want it to be pronounced Mercule. Mercule, but we can't all have what we want. I didn't know that then. But I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now. Said that Aelin was dead i couldn't speak only run i found last light within the shadows made a shelter there prayed my father wouldn't find me by the time jahira came i'd pieced together just enough to know i'd been dead a hundred years mm. that my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land my home i couldn't tell her who i was i had to protect them and myself no matter what Interesting. Understandable. It's all out in the open now. And with yeah. my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing. Rest. I'm grateful for your help. Your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long. But I'm grateful for a safe place to... Well... Just to be. Crying. That's so lovely. That's so lovely. Um, yeah, we knew. That's why he made the deal with Merkel. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Ben. How's it going? Lovely. Stop, nerds. Grizzly, welcome in. Hi. How are you? If there is an E on the end, it would be Mercule, but Mercule. It's just what I want. We can just all pretend there's an E there. <laughs> Rewriting there history. You are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. Oh, really? Uh, step closer. Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Catherick Thorne, 
traitor, Apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. My mate, Most High. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the Slayer of the Wicked One. I couldn't have done it without you. Here's the thing though. We did do it without her. Because she did fuck all during the fight. So... And I've taken gold over prayer. No. Where's the silver light? The moon magic. Maybe. Yes. Let's try it. Listen to the subtle vibrations of the moon maiden thumping within your heart chamber's friend. She works her magic there. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. There's still a great deal about you I don't know. Ooh, how do you intend to spend your newfound freedom? Hmm. I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. Okay. There's still a great deal I don't know about you. I'm glad that we can ask this. GDT, thank you for the tier 135 months. Hello, please. How's it going, lovely? Thank you for the hype, guys. It's why she talks about her girlfriend's father in front of her like that. I mean, look, it's no secret that neither of them are that fond of him. So I think it's probably a bit of all right, you know? <laughs> I think they're fine. Pray, ask, and I will tell. I like Aelin's character. She's full of gusto and... But not in like a ostentatious way you know are you really salune's daughter how did you come trapped in the shadow fell let's do this one <sighs> ketherick thorn father of my one and only love enslaver of dame aelin <sighs> ketherick thorn never did trust me even when he worshipped the moon maiden he was threatened by my love for isabel by her love for me when she died us the day the hour we each of us mourned bitterly but ketherick's pain could be touched by no aid no boundary he turned to wretched shah the lady of loss for relief and she whispered into his ear poisoning his mind he and his loathsome advisor balthazar lured me into the shadow fell claimed they'd found someone in need of my aid there they trapped me in their infernal cage. I was killed, murdered, made dead over and over and over by justicias of every make and kind. I was reborn, for it is my nature. And Catherick fed upon my immortality all the while. But lo, the brute is dead. And we, we live! One... Incredible voice acting. 15 bajillion out of 10. Two, when she says that she was in her infernal cage, does she mean that literally? Like, you know how infernal is a thing that exists in the game? Like, I know how to, my Tav knows how to read infernal. Astarian has the infernal on his back. Is it a literal infernal cage or is she using it? as like an adjective like how we would use it colloquially like that damned cage that infernal cage you know what i mean ami thank you for the tier three 32 months uh oh she's back i'm thrilled to have you here ami how's it going lovely it's been ages her voice acting so powerful right aelin's my absolute favorite she's fantastic yeah it's meant figuratively all right as far as you're aware yeah yeah figurative so like how we would use it but don't you agree? That's like a little confusing. When we know Infernal is a thing that exists in the game, don't use it like how we would use it, you know? Anyway, come on. Do I not radiate with my mother's brightness, her glory? You certainly do. There can be no doubt. I am of her silvered flesh, her celestial womb. Would your mother be willing to aid us in the fight against the Dead Three? Why, she already has. She has brought her sword to your side, Dame Aelin. 
So mighty are her wonders, her great wisdom. Together, we will set this fair land free of tyranny and murder. That's the only line where, like, where, that she said where I'm like, I mean, sure, fair, I guess. Infernal's the opposite of divine, so it could be, but it could just be colloquially. Some, some food for thought, huh? So excited. Uh, where? Withers is in here. Okay. Yep. No one's there. Or is there someone over here? Gail. Gail's over here. At least Shadowheart is armed with the truth now. May its keen edge draw forth whatever vengeance she desires. I should really change his clothes. Uh, Holson, who is wearing clothes? Oh, because that is camp clothes. Painful truths have been thrust upon Shadowheart. I believe she is strong enough to endure, but her path will be easier with our support. Okay. I feel like I've had that conversation with him so many times. Um, okay, I've spoken to Shadow Heart, Lazel, Gale, Karlak, Jahira, Holson. Will is the only one left, I think, right? And then Astarian, of course. Will and Astarian, I think, are the only ones left, I think. Uh, Frack, welcome in, Fracture. Hey! Still loving your Edel Elden Ring videos. That makes me thrilled to hear. Welcome, welcome in. How is it going? How are you doing? Um, Aelin's kind of annoying. Uh, I could potentially see that. I don't find her annoying, but I, I could, like, see how that personality type maybe isn't for everyone. Uh, oh, yeah, there he is. Damn, I didn't even see Will. Why is he invisible? Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's just because she wasn't invisible. I was like, what? Maybe she do Yeah, does she have a father? Good question. I know, wholesome wearing clothes is just not right. Just not right. Um, Will, oh no, bless Will. I feel so bad for Will, poor thing. How? Someone asked me how I'm feeling. Who was that? I'm okay, I'm feeling okay, like still quite sick and like low energy. So I apologize if I'm lower energy than, well I know I'm lower energy than normal. But if you can tell. Taken from the light you know to be I mean. raised in darkness. Your truth is finally dawning, Shadowheart. You can follow its light or you can retreat back into dusk. The truth is finally dawning. Shadowheart can follow its light or she can retreat back into dusk. <laughs> that was a whole I feel like that was too too well one obviously the mouth wasn't moving for a bit but I feel like that was two um like different conversations happening at the same time okay <clears throat> off we trot oh sh no I think I did talk to shadow heart but let, let's try it one more time all as well I hope yeah I aside did. Yeah, from yeah. the obvious yeah um, okie dokie! Over here, please. Please and thank you. We are not over a story and don't be ridiculous. Oh, Abby, bless you. Thank you. Yeah, bug dialogue. You can get... Oh, Lucas Aid in the US. No, I don't... Well, we, I can get it from special... Like, uh, speciality shops. Specialty shops. Um, but you can't buy it, like, in the grocery store like you can in the UK. I can't even remember the last time I had Lucas Aid. It's been ages, isn't it? I know, poor Will, bless. Okay, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Did I save? Let's just save again, tee -hee. The gate is closed, as is Casador. Casador and his right of profane ascension. 
An imperial soiree, attended by devils and spawn alike. A grand ceremony to honor one exalted vampiric master. And elevate him to an unfathomable station. To place him in a position of such esteem. The world will yearn to kneel and offer their necks. Sorry, there was a period during like the very beginning of him talking. Every woodland creature and their mother was making noise. <laughs> I was like, I'm struggling to focus on what you're talking about um, with everything else sounding off. Um, that was a very, uh, that was a very, that was, that was delivery with a lot of gusto. <sighs> okay, it sounds as if you envy him. We need to stop him yesterday. Jimmy can defeat him. Are we strong enough? So the gates closed. This castle can be right in the Imperial soiree. Ta -da -da. A grand ceremony to honor one exalted vampire master to elevate him near. To place him in a position of such esteem the world will yearn to kneel and offer their necks. I don't know if it sounds like he envies him. I don't know if I agree with that. Not a bad place to be. Let's do four. Jimmy can defeat him. Are we strong enough? We will kill him. But there's more to it. Okay. Think about it. It sounds like Casador, for all his evils, has gotten further than any of my kind ever have. Yeah. He's on the verge of a miracle. This may be a beginning, not an end. I can see myself now. Lord. King. Master. If the time comes and I can stay one move ahead of him, I'll take his place before his blood can hit the floor. So you would kill so you'd kill to take that power from him. The others bound to the ritual. I don't know. Raphael said the ascension was lethally diabolical. What a great phrase. Lethally diabolical. Sorry, master. It's master. If we can pull it off, we hardly know anything about the ritual. Um, let's do number two. I don't know. Raphael said the ascension is lethally diabol but dia <laughs> diabolical. <laughs> Doesn't it sound delightful? For the lucky little vampire on the winning side. After 200 years of shit, pure shit, I think I deserve something better. Okay, yes. Yes. But I don't know. I don't think this is the right way to go about it. All that matters to me is that you're safe. Freedom is not the same as power. A killer isn't worthy of respect. Don't get ahead of yourself. We don't even know if that's possible. Damn right. Yeah, but also don't yell at us. Yeah. Edward, welcome in. How's it going? Let's do number one. It's kind of interesting. This conversation, I'm feeling like the least, not even like confident with my answers in the sense of like, oh my gosh, is she gonna like me or not? Um, but I, I don't know how I, I don't know how I feel about the whole thing. I feel very conflicted about it. I feel unconfident in that way. I will give him the world if I could. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like agree. I mean, we are so down atrocious for a star in. But the thing is. <laughs> This just can't be good. The ascension thing can't be, or the, yeah, ascension thing can't be good. All that matters to me is that you're safe. But is that true? Because it's like this or like this. Freedom isn't the same as power. Freedom isn't the same as power, which is true. The convo is definitely less about approval, more about, yeah, the base realities of the relationship. Yeah, like, I'm not worried about approval stuff. So I just don't know. I don't know how to play this one. Um, I'm torn between one and two, I think. Um... So 
sorry. <laughs> I'm just silently, you're watching the cogs turn in my brain. Um, let's try this. All I'm saying is, let's be clever about it. If an opportunity arises for me to become a more magnificent bastard than I already am, why turn it down? Because it could Let's kill find you. Let's more about the ritual before we waltz into Casador's front Well, door. exactly. If we track down my old comrades, the other spawn, we may discover more and be finely positioned for yours truly to ascend. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if this whole ascension thing is a good idea, babe. That's the thing. I, as long as you're sure you'll be all right seeing them again, love. I do like the love at the end there. I'm with you all the way. Don't get ahead of yourself. We don't even know if it's possible for you to usurp the ritual. Well, the information will be useful. We'll find the other spawn. That's a good one. I promise to help you stop Kazador. I won't promise anything else. Ugh. Oi. Where is the horse when you know? Water hose. Stop. No. Why did I read it as horse? Did you watch the Xbox Dev Direct? Not all of it, but I did see the, the um, Indiana Jones... Uh, game. Was there anything else from it that you really were drawn to, Abby? Fun Reaper, welcome in, lovely. Remember my moral compass? I'm trying. The whole thing is so messy. I like the first one's quite tender. Maybe the first one's. We know we need information anyway. I mean, we do need information. As long as you'll be alright seeing them. I care about you right now. But he's probably gonna say something so dismissive and like bastardy. We'll see. <laughs> You're too adorable. I'll be fine. I'm sure they'll bring back memories of so many pathetic years, but I'm much stronger now. Okay. If we don't find my brethren, they'll find us. Likely with bared fangs. Mm. We should get to them first. I mean, it's true. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Unless Casadors change their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. Okay, it's a lot of talking. A lot of talking, time to do some sleeping. Um, what a tool he really is, shush. I have a question though, guys. Do you feel like, I, I, I feel like the, the, hang on, where is the bed? Here it is. I feel like the lip sinking the, the dialogue and the facial animations aren't matching as much in this uh, in this um, episode than normal. Like in this streaming session than normal, right? Or am I just like imagining that? Oh shit. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the chosen of the dead three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of mind flayers. This would have been your fate too were it not for the Astral Prism and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With his help you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? Oh no, oh no, 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 no. If we, I mean, Jesus, this is the headiest conversation that we've had in a while. Oi. The camp's very buggy for you. Kriho, welcome in. The camp's buggy. Yeah, it's right. It's all in my head, Paragon. How's it going? Yeah, it's been a common complaint with this part. Okay, interesting. Good to know. And it's a shame because the, like, uh, Starian's, um, uh, Neil, sorry, his voice acting just then was like very emphatic and verbose and big and whatever. And the animation didn't quite match the. And he's not the only one. It's been like that with a couple, not including obviously Will's conversation that was like very clearly bugged. Um, 
Oh, is he, Edward? That's interesting. Act three is much jankier than the rest of the game. Interesting, drunken. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. I know. Okay, now I'm here. Hey, welcome, Zion. How's it going, lovely Quint? Thank you so much for using your prime here. Three months, you angel. Thanks, Twitch. How's it going, lovely? Three months for Act Three. Yay. I know, dude. I just realized that this is the first time the tab actually responds to the narrator. You're right. It is, isn't it? I'm very stressed. Okay, let's read through. All I want is to be free of this parasite. I will do what is necessary to make that happen. I will succeed where the chosen will fail. I will dominate the world. When the moment comes, I'll do what feels right, which is true. I will free everyone of this evil. I will be the hero that saves Baldur's Gate. I think I'm gonna choose option three because <laughs> it's the one that feels the most accurate to me. I mean, it would be between three and four, but I kind of like the feeling of three. Because I am going to do what feels right. What I hope is right. What it will feel right to me. When the moment comes, I'll do what feels right. I also feel like this might be the cop-out answer. Um, you will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Okay, <laughs> this is our first bit of combat and we're in tactician difficulty. So this will be great. So, so thank you for the two on 34 months. By the way, glad you're doing better, you angel. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. How are you doing? No rest for the wicked indeed. Well, let's definitely save. Uh, this pulsing three is stressing me the fuck out. Hide the cam so YouTube can see. Oh, oh, here, here, here. Sorry, thank you. Um, those of you that are unfamiliar, there is a pulsing three i have to escape to the portal before the absolute takes control we've got three turns remaining i will call out the terms as it as it happens but i'm sure you guys will know thank you for the follows by the way welcome welcome in what's our problem her voice commanding affected entity's brain is being tortured at the whim of the absolute it receives a minus one penalty to intelligence wisdom and charisma abilities and takes one to six psychic damage at the end of its turn okay and then this is Githzerai Mind Barrier. Undead Ward Aura. Allied undead within... Oh, this must be something that I'm wearing, I think. Um, okay. Where is the portal? It's back there. I mean, good lord, dude. Alright. On the, on the plus side. Why are you... Why do you have less... I mean, what a look. This, he's got that sleeper build going on, you know? Resistance is none. Notable features. A whole fucking litany of them. Good lord. Deflect missiles. Using your reaction to reduce the damage from... Oh, fuck me, dude. Evasion. Okay. Extra attack. Good fucking grief. What? What? How? What? What in tarnation? What? Ha uh, uh, the rule like this. I think the rule like this. What a look! Holy shit! Again, sleeper build. So it's one. There's four of them. Oh no! And the escape to the portal. Is this not the portal that we want to go to? Why is it listed as an enemy? Oi! Lots of questions here, guys. Difficulty ramp up when tactician mode is insane. I'm very nervous. Daddy Ben Nova, welcome in. The section is known to kick people's asses. Well, I'm so thrilled that this is a section we're doing on tactician. Yay, me. Um, I 
I'm trying to decide what the hell I want to do. Um, and I have to start with Astarian. Uh, well, look, there's no... I was like, okay, maybe I misty step. Well, I have to escape to the portal. So maybe I misty step him to the portal. But then I don't know if I need him in the fray to help with the fight. But maybe let's try it. Oh, I can't. I can't. But we do only have three turns. Oh, Jesus. I'm just like paralyzed. Oh, these are monks. Monks. Ah, okay. Dude, this sucks so bad. Um, okay, let's let's be quick. They will know what bit them. your way to the portal. I need your help. <laughs> okay. That happened. Um, actually, solid start. The misses were, cr were clutch. The misses, the misses are great. Um... I feel like this was a mistake. Wild shaping. I think I shouldn't have done that. I should have done like an AOE, something or other. Cutting to the chase. Okay, cool shit. Uh Victory away. Weave a shadowy short sword in your hand that deals psychic damage. You're not resistant to psychic damage, are you? No, you're not. Try it. Come on, Lazal. Yes. Come on, babe. Fuck. Can't even catch my breath. What should I do? Go go back. That's the question. Um, do I have like a good AOE? The flame strike. What the fuck? Why? Why? Why?
Nothing will stand in my way. Concentrate. I might try the same shit again. Let's find some prey. It worked so well the first time. Okay. Better. But he's gonna be in real trouble, dude. I should have healed. That was short sighted. Tim, thank you so much. Welcome back. Two turns left. Were you always there? do this without you what the fuck is happening who are you wait what what sometimes the only way out is through oh my word uh. this isn't going very well is it uh Son of an absolute. Hang on, cancel. I will ascend. Shit, who do I want to go first, dude? I, 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 I. You can just miss your step, run, jump to the portal. You don't have to fight these guys. Well, it looks like that's going to be what has to be, but I can't. What? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Actual question. To to get a starion back, I need to use a scroll on him. I can't uh, I can't do the help command, right? Yeah, I have to revivify, motherfucker. Ugh, I have to do the scroll. I have to revive him. We're so screwed. We may have to redo this one. Right, right, raggy. Great. Um, we'll end that. Um, I'll do. I'll do. I'll have me use the scroll. Where's? Hang on. This. Yeah. D don't I have a scroll? Surely I've got a scroll. Silenced. Silenced. I. Who, who's silenced? Is it just me? Huh? I can't use items when I'm changed. <laughs> Tim, thank you for the gifted. Oh, for gifting a tier three sub to raise it. Thank you so much for the tier three gifted sub. You lovely. I can't do it as an owlbear. That sucks so bad, dude. That sucks so bad. Got to keep fighting. Hun, you're an owlbear. <laughs> there have been stranger things that happen in this game than an owlbear using a scroll. I didn't know I needed to speak to use the scroll. How, how, how am I supposed to know that I need to speak to use the scroll? I thought I could just like throw it. Um, okay, okay. Revivify. Okay, okay. Okay. Son of a fucking. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, me, me. Still breathing, despite everything. I 
I need to kill this one. I need to kill this guy. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I need... Let's finish this. Revivify. Move. Sorry. Okay. Mass healing. Big, big... Big heals. And then I have to move like up here. I think I... Jarvis tries to try to keep in mind, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We may have to reload this. We may have to reload this, but it, we're, we're, we're gonna try our darndest. L okay, let me, let me get rid of this guy. Um. I will not know failure. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. No! Less fantastic. Um, huh. Yes. I should have done that first. That was silly. Okay, well, end that. So much for peace. Have to end that. Just get him to Misty Step. Mm. Don't linger. Who the shithole is? Oh, you motherfucker. Have you always been here? I hate everyone. Uh. <sighs> Fucking god damn it. Uh, I think it's going to provoke the attack opportunity anyway. They come through the portal, drop as a portal. Ah, I, 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 I hate everyone. <laughs> okay, good. Now. Okay. Help, help him up. to get us all up to the portal. That's all was going to blow. And soon.
pretty. It's very pretty. Oh, thank God I'm here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't realize that we only need to get one of us over to the portal. I thought we had to get all of us over to the portal. Um, so that's at least interesting to know. Uh, I will save the panic. I was, well, I was most panicked when my character didn't load through. And so I'm like, is that, hang on. You guys need to pause. They're not pausing. I was like, is that because I'm an owl bear? Or because of I fucked up and I'm dead? This is so cool. It's very cool. It is very cool. Um, it's very cool. I don't know what the hell is happening. Uh, I need, we need to be healed. Can you heal us all right now? Well, I guess we don't all need to be healed. It's just him. It's not over. Come to the skull. Uh, yeah, okay. Yes, but I was just trying to be safe. Let's get going. Okay, well, let's. Did I save? Let's just save again. I'll have to hop off and do some snow removal. Be back. See you back. Um. Okay. I mean, who the hell are you? Who? Hang on. <laughs> Mom, I feel overwhelmed. Am I trying to fight you? I assume I'm trying to fight you. Am I by myself? I can't believe that's so nasty. She kicked me. Jeez Louise, it's just me. Can I, like, can I? Yeah, can, hello. Okay, good shit. Great music. I mean, fuck me, man. Great. Okay. Get you involved. And now, are you immune to anything? Uh. No, you're not. Okay. Spirit Guardians? Cool shit. Um. Okay, we can all still benefit from this. Okay. Don't touch me. Get him over here. Um. Oh, nice. Well, I I could just do this still. Oh, uh, maybe I should have used like hold person. All right, okay, okay. No tricks but to keep going. Swift and lethal. Okay. Focused. Okay. It's the kick, dude. The kick is so brutal. It's so nasty. Um, all right. Yeah. Cool. 
Great music. Critical miss. Fantastic. I hate that you can see it's going to miss before it misses. That shit drives me up the wall, dude. <sighs> let's have some courage. Yes. Yeah. Say, so let's have some what? Sorry. Courage. Stealthier. Temporary. I'm not. Am I not hidden? On the hunt. Executioner, I think, is only once per long rest, right? Executioner until long rest. So let's not react. Nasty, 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 nasty. Time to strike. Yep, 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 yep. What is the deal? Why? Why don't I have my dice? I don't know why, but I don't. I swear on everything that's fucking hurt. Huh? I mean, what the fuck is even the fucking? Should I just have you main? Your main hand attack is so weak. Uh, I mean, but I only need like one hit. It's not over. Come to the skull. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Messy, 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 messy. <clears throat> Potty mouth Java, what did I say? I don't even know what I said, but I stand by it. This is overwhelming. I, I feel so overwhelmed. I also feel like I don't have a full appreciation of what's happening. Does that make sense? No. I also also don't want to dismiss my owlbear form right now. Um, but I also feel like I want to be out of owlbear. Of course, um, by the time we do the important stuff, because I want to have a conversation. Oh, get out of Albert. Well, I don't. I, I assume I'm going to be in another fight. But you meant to be kind of clueless. No worries. Okay, good. Okay, good. Uh, when party members don't want to make those jumps, even though they can, I imagine they're being lazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try this. We'll save here. Um, I... Uh, I need... I... Ugh. We're still... We still need to fight. You want to be in my cut character for cutscenes. Let's just dismiss it. I have enough spells to make without... I don't want to risk... I don't want to have... Not be in the... I don't want to risk... I want to be me. <laughs> the Gith Yankee are fighting against. Yep, yep. Okay. Who the hell are you? Before you do anything, I am your ally. Why? We are in danger. Geek abomination by the one true sky. What is this madness? The Githyanki is the source of our protection against the Absolute. I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Huh? Don't let my form deceive you. I am the one that's been protecting you. I am the one that came to you in your dreams. Uh. Help me.
sorry. I think my mind's actually short circuited. Um, I saved. I think I saved before this, but let's just save again. Jesus. Okay. De decomp decomposing. Ha! <laughs> I frankly, I might be decomposing. I'm so I'm wanting to decompress for a second. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna communicate what I know. Obviously, please no spoilers. I'm just trying to like wrap my head, sorry, around everything that's happening right now. The the, the person that's been visiting us in our dreams, our guardian, right, is not is is the emperor the emperor is a mind player the emperor before you do anything i'm your ally yeah we're in danger the githyanki this this the githyanki the one that's chained up whatever is a source of our protection against the absolute i think he had braces on that the githyanki guy had braces on that looked like the um astral the not, what's it called? The the the, the 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 rune ball thing that we've been carrying. The name is like falling from my brain. The the runes matched, I think, on the on the bracer. So sort of protection against absolute. I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my form deceive you. I'm the one that's been protecting you. Oi! I don't know how I feel about this. Um. This is the bastard. Oh, fuck. Prove to me you are who you say? I mean, that's like a good... Like, maybe let's try... I know I saved, but I just have to. It's a compulsion. Let's try this. I want to ask these two. Three and four. I hope I can ask three and four. Prove to me that you are who you say? But that doesn't mean that I think you're good. I just want to know that you are the same person? You saved a child from a viper. Back in the Druid's Grove, you saved the Asima Night Soul from her soul cage. You let me live last time you were here, though it brought Blackith's wrath upon you. I told you about my room in the Elsong Tavern that night when you held me. I was vulnerable. You comforted me. Your continued existence as yourself and not a mind flayer should be all the proof you need. Now, help me. Oh. Oh, God. This feels bad. Yeah, so clearly had you design your guardian. They knew you'd have an affinity. Yeah, I know. Let's try and do this. I mean, Jesus. Try to read the mind flayer's thoughts. If there was any time to use the parasite, I think this is it. Uh, he rolled a 20. Stop. Don't say that. Decisions. I know this feels super heady. And I am very glad I was not the owlbear right now. I wonder how that would have worked. If it would have de owlbeared me or if one of the other characters would have been the face for the conversation. But this conversation is too important to not be the face for it. Jen, uh, Jen, Peter, hey. You make the best faces. Thank you. Uh, let's try it. Minus one intelligence, but the plus... Hang on, I had plus four for wisdom. Whatever. Why am I... Hey, whatever. I could have sworn it said plus four for wisdom. So why the hell it's pulling off of my intelligence? I don't know. Labore, thank you for the tier one 12 months. I'm definitely feeling better. I'm not quite 100% there Yeah, I'm still in feeling a little wobbly. Um, sorry, you guys can see my sound mixer. Um, but I am definitely feeling better. Thank you so much for asking. How's it going? Lovely. Um, okay, let's go. Please, 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 please. Fuck you. I'm so fucking livid, dude. Well, we have to do it again. The wisdom hint for the roll is a known glitch. That's such bullshit. I can't believe this is the first dice roll of the thing. Can I just say you're competing with the music in times like this when you're talking? It's loud, isn't it? The music's really loud. I might turn it a little bit. Just like that. A little bit. A little bit. Let's go again. But the music in the game is loud. I don't know why because his voice is quite quiet. 
Let's go again. Fuck you! No! One more time. This can't, we can't, this is so important. I feel like this is so important. It can't happen for a third time. That's crazy. Please. is crazy that is actually crazy that is unfucking real what are the odds of that seriously what are the odds of that three three ones in a row that's crazy my armpits sting i'm so mad do you know the odds of that happening no someone please literally tell me the odds of that happening honestly go get a lottery ticket that's insane 20 to the power to the third power. Job, why'd you do that? I don't know why. Reborn, welcome in. I don't know if I want to save scum this. He is the mind flayer, yeah. On the bright side, you look great and you're still alive. Thank you, Astria. Three out of four, yeah, times one. No, it's worse than that. It's way worse than that. No, yeah, not a stream without me breaking the laws of problem. Well, fuck, fuck everything. I'm so, I'm fuming, mate. I'm fuming. Despite your best attempts to be <sighs> subtle, the mind flare's awareness is everywhere. You blunder in its presence like a walk pup learning to walk. I mean, you must be joking. Look around you. We are at war. Fight with me. Your future depends on it. Aid an illicit against its Yankee. We cannot. We must not. Your blind loyalty will be your undoing, Lazel. Fight with me for your own survival. Fuck. <laughs> I feel so stressed out. Eight thousand in one chance. Oh, it would be one in eight thousand if I got them back to back to back. Crazy. So whatever back to back plus one is. Um. Fuck! I hate this dude. Zero point zero one percent chance of getting three crit fails. That's insane. You dump Lazel for the Emperor. I really don't know what to do. Okay, let me let me talk through his thoughts as I have an existential crisis right now. Um, so I say, let me talk through his thoughts, and instead I just sit here quietly sulking. Okay, no, so so. In theory, the, the the emperor has only helped us up until this point. But I have been concerned about whether or not I can trust, whether or not I can trust the emperor. And part of it, I feel like it's supposed to be this big long gotcha because you have him, you you get to create what this companion looks like. The companion is overtly called your guardian. So it's your guardian, you've designed your guardian, so you're supposed to have an affinity towards them. And they have been helping you, but I feel like they've not been completely forthcoming. And so you're, you're unsure about whether or not you can trust them. Clearly, we know for certain they've not been entirely forthcoming because we've now found out that the Emperor, which is a very concerning name, and they are an illithid. So I'm not sure whether or not I can trust you, all right? On the flip side, you've got Lazel going, oh my God, how could you possibly want us to fight against the Githyanki? 
But the Githyanki have not been totally amazing either. Lazelle's been like blindly wanting to follow and support Vlakith. We know Vlakith isn't quite all good news. So like there's a bit of concern from her judgment in that sense. I feel very torn. I feel very torn. <laughs> I love that go girl, give us nothing. I'm trying, dude, I'm trying. <laughs> Gaming is fun. <laughs> what a way to start stream, I know. You'd expected this from the beginning. It is, it does, it does feel very sort of obvious in a way. I'd be worried, I'd be more worried about rolling the three natural ones in a row. Like, this just feels like such a watershed moment. This feels like a very important decision to be making. Technically you were fighting the Emperor and the Githyanki and the Githserai. Odds are stacked against me. He's much easier to take out if it's just him and your group left. Yeah, but then that feels like the worst of both worlds. No, hang on. If I don't join the fight now, then wouldn't I be fighting on the side of the Githyanki? But we have been fighting against the Githyanki. You know the meme of, you know the meme of the woman doing the maths in her head? That's me right now. I am going through every emotion, Jen Pieta, yeah. I'll have you know Vlacketh always puts a trash out to the curb. <laughs> oh. Do you even want to fight the Emperor? I mean, not particularly. Yeah, the more attractive you make your guardian, the more you suffer, true. <laughs> Luckily, I modeled mine after my cat. This is the thing, it's not that I like Typically, it's not that I want to fight the Emperor per se, but I don't trust the Emperor. Are you gonna be on Palpatine's side? I know, I don't know. What's the bigger problem, the Emperor or the Absolute? Hang on, hang on. I thought the Absolute I thought the absolute, hang on, I'm sorry. I, 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 just to make sure that I'm fully understanding everything. I thought the absolute was the brain. What are the Githyanki fighting right now? Am I supposed to understand what the Githyanki are fighting right now? The absolute is the elder brain, right. No. It's the first time I fought my- You are not supposed to understand right now. Okay, so then don't anyone tell me. Don't- No one tell me because I'm not supposed to understand. Again, this is the kind of unfortunate thing because I did take a little bit of time away from this. Um, okay. This sucks, dude. This sucks so bad. <laughs> okay, we saved. Uh, this is what's gonna happen. Maybe reread the dialogue. I'll reread the dialogue one more time. Three, I'm your ally. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Tell me who you are. You saved the child. Blah 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 blah. I told you about my room and the blah blah that we might, that night when you held me. I was vulnerable. You comforted me. This feels like a manipulation. Your continued existence to yourself is not a mind flayer, should be proof you need. Despite your best attempts to be subtle, the mind flayer is blah, 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 that's me failing the role. You must be joking, look around you, we're at war, fight me, your future depends on it. This doesn't give me the clue. And no one, don't anyone tell me, don't tell me, because I'm not supposed to know, but I just reread this and I, I don't, I don't feel like it helps me. I'm struggling so hard. I'm sorry, guys. Fancy oceans, yeah, this is a tough one. From what we've seen so far, they appear to be trying to release the shackled gith, and we don't know why yet. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. 
The Kitty Yankee is the source of our protection. I must subdue him. Well, everything we've worked towards is lost. Okay, okay. The Gith Yankee are trying to free the chained up Gith Yankee that looks like the astral t t ball thingy that we've been protecting the whole time. And I'm trying to remember. The Gith Yankee have been trying to get that ball thingy for a while. And we had the conflict with Gith Yankee then about it. And that's when we met Vlakith. Uh, you know what the problem is, right? The problem is I don't trust either of them. I don't trust either of them. I don't like either of them. So I feel like at this point, it's who is the lesser of two evils. But I know, and I'm saying this for the record right now, in my heart, I have to believe that the emperor is not trustworthy. We do not trust him. He's not been forthcoming this whole time. We've got more information. He's an illithid. I don't trust him. But I also don't know if I trust what's going on with the Gith Yankee monk situation. This Tosi feels like a choosing the lesser of two evils. And I feel like at this point, the Emperor has been helping me. But it's been helping me for some, for some old, for some, it's self-serving. I know I'm gonna have such egg on my face. I know it's, I'm gonna get egg on my face. I know that he's protecting us for whatever is serving his own purpose that may not be good or, or whatever. And then also, like who knows if he's been helping us or not i know he says that he's been helping us with the parasite we have to believe it that's true amalim wasn't illithid and helpful so anyway this is this is the point of me saying that right i think at the time being i will be on the emperor's side however comma i don't trust him and there is will very likely be a sell by date on me being on his side but it's been ah fuck ah, i hate this because also okay hear me out i also feel like the game is leading you into a trap to go and fight against the the monks because what's happened this is our first time interacting with the monks and they came out the portal and and like fucked our shit up and so they know that we've been like solely fighting against them and so i feel like the game is like tee hee hee i want to lead you into into fighting against the monks even though it's not the right choice and i hate that i hate feeling like there's no good solution you know what i mean i hate it you trust the historian immediately that's different Different story for a sexy vampire, probably. This is where I go to the frozen yogurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 flavors to pick from, truly. I'm paralyzed by just two choices. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna join the side of the mind flare, but I feel very unwell about all of this. I feel very, very unwell. Uh, yeah, well, well, well. Together, we can turn the tide. I feel so ill. I feel so ill. Mom, I don't like any of this. Um, I mean, jeez Louise. Orpheus. 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 Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. No, I def- oh, fuck. Ay, ay, ay. It's not gonna let me read it. It's not gonna let me read it. Oh, shitholes. Orpheus, we've definitely read a, sh a lot about Orpheus and it was like Orpheus versus Vlacketh, right? Where, where, where is, 
Hey, 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 hey! Discover the fate of Prince Orpheus, motherfucker. We discovered all three books in this series. The final fate of whereabouts Prince Orpheus. <laughs> we read the- okay, okay. We read a book about the lost Prince Orpheus. It claims that Vlakith is not the true queen of the Yankee and that Prince Orpheus is their true heir. Fucking motherfucker. We read a forbidden book about a certain Prince Orpheus. He seems to be a challenger to the Queen Vlakith and the son of Gith, the one who freed the Gith Yankee from the Mind Flayers. Ay, 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 ay. We read the third book in the series about Prince Orpheus. This one explains that Voss attacked Orpheus, but he lives. No, guys, no, 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 no. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I've made the right choice. I really don't feel like I've made the right choice. Sa scum save. I think I might save scum this. Shit. Ah, uh, shit holes. You just get to feel slimy for the rest of the game, no problem. Am I overthinking it? It's okay, just play on. Fuck. We'll play the thread out. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna play the thread out. Um, and if <laughs> things go horrendously poorly, I'll just reload it. Fuck. Maybe make a hard save back at the last decision. Um, shush, Mikey. Shush, 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 shush. I'm, I'm still playing. Yeah, worst play scenario. It's a good thing. Oh, well, I don't, I don't think I can. Um, I don't think I can um, um, I, I, I can't I would have to reload the whole thing Let, we're just gonna keep it like this for now son of a bitch dude I'm so mad I can't believe this I wonder what happens if I just try and destroy the crystals I'm not loading it. I just want to see. One, two, three, four. It's all just the same fucking frame. Five? Five. Five. Um, okay, let's let's just see if we can get a little creative. I mean, what's my, what's my highest? Yeah, let's try it. The rock resists all attempts to shatter it. I'm just sat here silently molding. Uh, 
I mean, how many? It's one, one, two, three. Where is this one? There. Four. Two up there. Okay. Uh. Damn it to hell, dude. I made the wrong choice. I'm so fuming. I'm fuming. Uh. I'm just so mad, dude. I'm so mad. <coughs> Excuse me. For anyone new joining in, one, thank you guys so much for the follows. I'm thrilled that you're here. Two, I'm recovering from, um, I'm recovering from uh, the flu. I mean, this feels so wrong on so many levels. Destroy the honor guard. Renegade Elithid, though. He's still called a Renegade Elithid. Now, are you called that again as another misdirection? Are you actually rogue? Oh, son of a bitch. Ay, 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 that was such a misstep, dude. Ah. It won't even let me scale up. No. Um. Holds a humanoid enemy still. They can't move, act, react. Yeah, and they always have critical... Uh. I mean, fuck, dude. Oi, 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 oi. I mean... Maybe I should try hold pass in here. Silently raging. I mean, I might as well because I should long rest after this. Yay! Okay. Whenever you fail save and throw, you can roll again using the new result. Is okay. Ah! I need to hold on. Whoa! Well, I have to do. Oh, fuck. But I hope that this doesn't then mess up like dialogue stuff. You know what I mean? I mean, fans up power this evening is John Press S5 key out a bajillion times. I know, Adam, it's terrible. I made I, I made a mistake, dude. CM, thank you for the gifted sub to Goblin. Thank you, thank you. I overthink everything massively, massively, massively. Close free driver is not PG-13 and I'm here for it. I don't even know. I feel like it's been a while since I've been PG-13, um, which isn't to say I shouldn't be. However, comma. Um, oh, CM, bless you, thank you. Uh, shit. Let, oh, fuck. I, 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 let's just do it. One more big hit, big hit. Okay. 
Okay, everyone's missing. Great. That sucks so hard, dude. Oh, I feel so unwell, guys. I feel so unwell. This is so the wrong choice. Fuck everything. What is the point of using that? I... I mean, do I even want to use my... My... Uh, do I... 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 Uh... Protects a creature from attacks, increases armor class by two, requires concentration. I mean, is there anything? Oh, yeah, because I want to do hold person. This is not going well. I mean, that actually went surprisingly well. <sighs> I mean, that's good. That's bad. That's good. That's very bad. That's worse. I'm gonna have to reload this shit anyway because I'm about to fail. Okay, who's nearly dead? This one. Okay. One more good one. Let's do one more good one. Cool. Okay. Okay. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh right. Ay 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 ay. I mean, oi. <laughs> oi. But this would be critical, right? Cuz you're prone. It provides an attack opportunity, motherfucker. Guy. Okay, another big, 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 big wham, big wham. I must regain control. I must regain control of the Githyanki Prince. Is that what you just said? What? What? It doesn't tell me because it's an attack log. It's a combat log. There's no dialogue log here, but I think that's what he said and I just hate myself even more. The self-loathing is uh, is doing a lot right now. Um, okay. Oh, what do I want to do? Moonbeam? Why not? Cool. Uh, healing. Cool. Okay. Same old, same old. Cool. Level up. Everyone levels up. Lovely. Now, there's that guy there. That person there. Those are the only two there. Um... So let's bring a star in like here. Let's go. I guess. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. <laughs> Fucking joking.
What? Oh, because he has a turn. Okay. I am fury. I am death. That was so fucking bad, dude. I'm just mad at myself. I'm just molding. Okay. Okay. not the one I wish to speak with. Bring me your leader. Stand. Now is not your time. We have much to discuss. Why is Astarian glowing like that? Don't look at me like that. I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. It's obscene. You owe my life to a damned geek. No more lies, no more tricks. I will have answers. Okay. He's got that. Is it key or Kai? It should dissipate on its own. Okay. All right. Well, that's those are two tactician fights. Or two or three that key. Two or three tactician fights down. Not the cleanest, but it's okay. You're doing okay, sweetie. I'm just in fucking existential crisis. It's okay, guys. Why, 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 why? How is this fair? Ask again, who are you? I'm gonna need a name this time. Thanks for saving me. I always suspected you were a mind flayer. Prism. You were in the prism all this time. Why did you deceive me? I provide the other version of you. Tell me everything. I mean, fuck me, dude. Uh, tell me everything. I am kind of, I'm a fuming a little bit. So we go, tell me everything. I'll ask again, who are you? I'm gonna need a name this time. Like, piss off. Tell me everything. It's like I said before. I'm just like you. Fuck off. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate. Though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of mind flayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. TV. For years, I served the Elder Brain. The one you know as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me when I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillmain. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain, where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name was intended as a slight, to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. I call bullshit on that. I call, I call bullshit on the, 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 this last bit that he said. Um, 
people like people refer to me as the emperor because I was so influential, right? That's like a name to be proud of. It's you know da 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 da. Why the hell would they would your captor, right? He told me back and brought me back to the game where I became a slave once again. The slave continued, a slave he continued to call the emperor. He, I assume, it being the absolute, right? The elder brain. And I'm just positing here. Like, don't don't anyone answer me um correctly like don't 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 correct me or not what have you um but why the hell would your captor right the person who has made you a slave want to call you by a name that reminds you of your independence and your influence in a different life bullshit like that's that's a lie like the rest of this stuff might be true right that he was a person from Baldur's gate he went to moonrise um yeah some this is also the other thing an adventurer i came from Baldur's gate though i was never one to be constrained by circumstance i longed for more the longing brought me to moonrise tower and such for treasure treasure he makes it sound like he was looking for one thing. He ran into the colony of mind flayers and they're the ones that turned him. But I, I don't get the feeling necessarily that I, I almost feel like he was intentionally looking for the mind flayers and they promised him this like power. Um, and, and, uh, he's now, cause he, he also looks visually different than um than the other thrall i think he calls them right um like he has more ornamentation in his outfit uh than the others have i think when we were looking at that cutscene, it looked like he had more ornamentation than the others um i i really think and don't don't anyone correct me i'm just like giving out my theories um, I, I think he's pulling the strings here. I think we're a pawn in a bigger thing. I, I still don't trust him. At all. The Emperor's story sounds sketchy. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. I think there's nuggets of truth. Like, this adventurer from Baldur's Gate are longing for more and coming to Moonrise Towers. This, I think, is true. The being turned into a mind flayer when you didn't want to, I feel like, is the lie and then the lies that then stem from that you know he's just a silly little goofy guy no it's gortash not a spoiler what's Gort what's gortash sorry it's actually 30 squirrels in a trench coat line hey i mean it makes sense to me it does rob in it in that you won't have freedom ever again hmm. it's irony meant as torture i don't think so he refers to gortash ah 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 a slave he, a slave he, he being Gortash, continued to call the emperor. Yeah, he has big beef with Gortash. Hmm. My face went off to rejecting the advance of every single companion waiting to romance my goth girl guardian only to learn the truth in act three. Wait, what? The truth about, more truth about Shadowheart? He has long tentacles compared to the others. Yeah. It's a common narcissistic manipulation tactic. You mean from Gortash, right? The absolute uses she her funny. Mm. I just don't trust the mind flayers, period. I mean, nor should you. This feels... Oy. Lord Gortash was one of the chosen in the colony. Did you ever have to eat criminals' brains? So you're going to tell me what this battle was about? How did you end up in here? That Githyanki in the spe sphere, who is he? Ugh. Oh, goth girl being the guardian. Oh, my goth girl guardian. I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I miss. I didn't read. I just read goth girl, and in my mind, I was like, oh, uh, shadow heart. That's fucking hilarious, though. Ha! <laughs> that shit's so funny. Um. Okay, let's save. Lord Gortash was one of the chosen in the colony. Do you have to do Because this, we don't need to ask that. Like, we already know. So you're going to tell me what this battle was about. We do want to know that. How did you end up here? I also want to know that. Yeah, yeah, but we do also know who that is. Uh, ugh. 
indeed. His hubris knows no bounds. To enslave me, that was his nature. But to enslave an elder brain, a questionable decision. I shall look forward to sharing his downfall with you. We fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith herself. Orpheus? Impossible. He was slain by Shastil Kithrak himself. Quite possible, I assure you. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus's mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. Mark. When Orpheus's mother left, a usurper took her place. Blacketh declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Blacketh wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. <sighs> Fucker. Was it you or Orpheus that Vlacketh wanted to, us to kill when she ordered us inside the prison? That's a good question. Was it you or Orpheus that Vlacketh wanted us to kill when she ordered us inside the prism? Were you imprisoned here too? How did Gortash and the other Chosen find out about the astral prism? That is also a good question. Um, let's ask two in the hopes that we can also ask two and three. Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to I don't to trust you though. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blacketh was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. I don't understand. The histories claim the prince was burned to ash in the skies. Your histories are fabrications. The prince was not killed. As you can very well see, he was imprisoned. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. Hmm, okay. Um, let's ask, were you imprisoned here too? But obviously two is the more interesting question, I think, hang on. Shush, CM. I just read your message about gaslighting. Um, the, uh, let's let's ask two. Let's ask two. A very good question, one that I have been unable to answer. That Orpheus lives at all is ruinous to Blackith. She has done everything in her power to keep his existence a secret. And that Gortash and the Chosen found out about it. This is impossible. Explain. But it was important enough to them that Gortash sent me to retrieve it. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside and found Orpheus. I realized what the prism was for containment. While my body was within the prism's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. God damn! Could we kill Orpheus and seize his power? Absolutely not. What happens if we free Orpheus? Good lord. Uh, Hello, Nation. Welcome in. He was in. Prism. Prism. <laughs> That's pretty good. Welcome in. 
The idea that psychokinetic energy can affect cell development is interesting. Yeah. Huh. How's it going, Repulsor? Hmm. He admits he wants to overthrow them, not eradicate them. I don't trust him. I mean, again, I think I really bungled this. I'm not going to lie. But we knew right on the onset. It was like better or worse. And then as soon as I found out that um, it was Orpheus, the one that was trapped in there, I was like, motherfucker. So we're going to try and right the wrong, all right? That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, he would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, he feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid. A sworn enemy. Well, this certainly just didn't help me. my case. I'm staring into the absolute void of despair. We're like in other ways too. I don't want to say that. And the more I talk to you, the less you seem like a mind flayer. I absolutely also don't want to say that. I'm nothing like you. I'm no illithid. I never will be. Let's do four. You are already more illithid than you realize. It has improved. I see. I don't like that. You seek to reverse an inevitable process, a process of evolution. When I first escaped from the Elder Brain, I too railed against the change. But the longer I have inhabited this form, the more it has grown on me. Even if my original body remained intact after I transformed, I would not return to it. Doing so would only impose limitations. No, I don't like this. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. Oi, oi, oi. This is crazy. This is this is a very drawn out conversation that feels like I mean this whole portion that feels like they have like monumental impact. I don't like the way he's talking. Um you, you two should embrace the change. Uh why do you say that? I don't like what you're implying. I'm trying to avoid becoming a mind flayer. I thought you agreed to protect me. I mean, those are all good. Hey! Italian Spartacus, thank you so much for the massive raid. As an illithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You two should embrace this change, which we don't like the sound of. So I think I'm going to say I'm trying to avoid becoming a mind flayer. I thought you agreed to protect me. It seems like a good middle ground. I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent illithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. I just don't like the sound of that, guys. It just cannot be good. It just cannot be good. There's nothing about this situation that seems like, oh, yes, yes, yes. This is this is going to be a great choice that I absolutely won't regret. Hmm. Thanks for the follows, guys. Massive, massive thank you. Um, do it. I'd like to evolve. If you can evolve me, why can't you stop seromorphosis altogether? Um, no, no way. Okay, I just saved. I'm going to do it again. I've saved so many times. It's actually a crime. Let's ask what would that entail just to find out. But we all, for the record, go, I don't want to be, I don't want to be evolved. I just want to learn more. You will be able to do things you never thought were possible. Like what? There will be physical alterations, of course, but only partial. You will retain most of your current No, form, no, no, no. And no, no, you no. will soon see that the benefits outweigh any perceived loss. No, 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 definitely not. If you can evolve me, why haven't you stopped? Why can't you stop seromorphosis altogether? This is also a good one to ask. The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you, as I told you before. Bullshit. Two, why would I? 
You have done well the limited form you have, but you would do far better as an illithid. So, do you wish to evolve or not? Absolutely not. No, no way. Even as you say the words, you feel a lurch of disappointment. No, I don't. Your mind bristles with illithid potential. How could you be so cruel as to deny yourself what you want most in the but world? But it's not what I want I most in the world. That. It's your nature. No. You cannot fight it. So embrace it. No. No, 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 no. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. They're really pushing this down. And Sunrun's cracked. Came out, hey, it's not that bad. I romance him in one of my playthroughs. You can romance the Emperor. That's crazy. I didn't know that was possible. I'm not doing this. I'm absolutely not doing it. Oh, wisdom. No, I won't do it. I'm sweating bullets here. I know. It's so good. No, I can't. I mean, you could fuck him. Romance, I can't believe they let you do that. I can, but I can't. That shit's crazy. Where's basic? She knows what it's like to tickle tentacles. I don't even want to know the implications of that. I wonder. No, 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 no. I won't do it. Motherfucker! Safe scumming is not a crime. Denying yourself your true delights is a crime. Be a lipid. Ah, how funny that, that that message comes from someone whose name is Saboteur. Dare I say, are you trying to sabotage my run, Sab Saboteur? Hmm? Blackbeard, welcome in. I'm not doing it. You've seen this roll as high as 30. I'm stressed out because I also can't re-roll this. Fuck everyone! That is insane. For anyone that's just gotten here, I had two, two ones in a row. Then I got a seven. Then I got a one. This is my fourth one. This entire fucking stream. When it's most important. That shit's crazy. <sighs> Fuck me. He may resist now, but it's too late. You already embraced the powers the parasite gave you. You leveraged them to manipulate, to dominate, to survive. Don't you eat it. nature is no longer your own. You are well on your way to fulfilling your illithid potential. No, I'm not. Don't eat it, you dumb you bitch. Ready to evolve. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Stop. A coldness seeps through your veins. No, 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 no. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. You are exquisite. When your allies see what you can do, I hope you encourage them to try it for themselves. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the brain, and bring it under our control.
I'm actually at a loss for words right now. I'm actually at a loss for words. Darkness, welcome in. Nature boy, welcome in. This is the thing that sucks, all right? This is the thing that sucks. Not once in my playthrough, not once have I used any of the illithid powers that you get from the tadpoles. I have 11 tadpoles up here, okay? And I only ever used a couple sometimes. I resisted for so long because people were like, oh, like I was like, I don't know if I trust it. I don't know if I trust it. People were like, oh, you should try one. Hee hee hee, the powers are so good. And then I tried one, whatever. But I've not used it ever. And then I see his son run goes, the more tadpoles you've taken, the higher the roll gets. So that's why the roll was as high as it was. Not that it matters, because I rolled a one anyway. And now I don't know what to do. I feel so at a loss for what to do right now. <laughs> hey, you can fly to that fun. I would not blame you for safe scumming. You've been dragging the yeah, Ethereum's kicking and screaming enough. I, I, yeah. I, I, I actually really don't know what to do. She's still beautiful, but it's, yeah, it's not, it's definitely not what I'd want. <laughs> I came back at the right time. Throw in chat, do they part? Oh, yeah. If Faze is only a mother I could love, or sorry, and maybe. I can't do it. Don't save some. Get better in your next playthrough. Fuck it, we ball. I know. I, I, I really bungled this. You know what sucks? Okay. I've been save scumming for like all intents and purposes, silly shit. Okay. I've been save scumming. I've been save scumming for silly shit. And I was like, okay, try and hold off on doing the save scumming for the big stuff. You know, like try and like make like m you make your bed, lie in it. Um, but I don't know, dude. I don't know if this is the one that I'm gonna stick with. But that requires us reloading a long time back. Yeah, here's a save scum pass. Use it wisely. You've had enough nat ones tonight. I say reload it and give it one more go. Save that for honor mode. The not safe scumming, right? I'm sorry, the not... Yeah, the not safe scumming, right? Welcome in, Sigma. Yeah. Do it, safe scum. I think I will. I just can't bear this, guys. If you got says to reload, yeah, you'll be forgiven for it. I, I think... I Hold up, though. Do you want to mess up your entire Borders Gate run for this? For... What do you mean? In which way, CM? By safe scumming or by not safe scumming? Thanks for the follows, guys. Welcome in. Yeah, I think I have to reload this. Check the skill. I'll sh I'll I'll check the skill tree for fun. I'll show you guys my face. But I think we're gonna we're gonna do a little redo. There's a difference between safe coming to get a perfect ending and safe coming to not avoid enjoying my. I mean, I know this is like such a moment. Huh, and like also, I think it'd be one thing. I think it'd be one thing if I was like on the fence a lot about like ooh. I take these tadpoles and I use the and I use the uh, the abilities like tee hee hee, but I feel a bit naughty about it. It's like I've taken the tadpole and I've never used the ability because I've always felt bad about it. And so this is just going in the wrong direction. I'll show you. We'll do this. I know the absolute roaring irony. At the beginning of this playthrough, I said, I'm not gonna save scum. We're gonna embrace the chaos. Enough chaos has been embraced, okay? I am admitting mea culpa. I should never have started the playthrough saying, I'm not gonna save scum. Um, I absolutely have been. And I think I will continue to do it at this point because this is a massive one. So anyway, let's just, we'll show you my face. Let's have a look. I don't notice a massive difference. Is it the is it the blood? I think it's the blood. And that's about it. And then I'll show you the skill tree. I mean, but like what it what it what even no not lays out for me. And well in Mine but like I don't use this shit. I never use it. So this must be a new one, Mind Blast, Mind Sanctuary. I mean, Jesus. Free cost? You have the, discovered a marvelous adaptability within yourself. Spell slots, charges, and similar resource costs for your next action. 
are removed. Okay. Hmm. Displacer beast. Transform into a displacer beast. Oh, I think we fought one of these. Fracture psyche and beta target's mind disrupt its defenses. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. And then, oh, and then fly. You get to fly to a target position. Lovely. Um, all right. Oh, now here's the question though, right? What the hell load do I reload to? Do I reload all the way back to before I choose which side to be on? Or do I, cause I don't know if it makes sense to reload right up to the, to where we have the, to roll against the 20, you know? It's much more apparent in dialogues. Okay. I thought you'd modded this in though. Use five tadpoles. I used I used only two on me, I think. I used two on me. Two on me. One on a, two, two on me, two on Astarian, one on Lazel, I think is how I've done it. It's true, nature boy. Here's a dirty little here's a little dirty secret about Darth of the Druid. She was infected by a tadpole that was quite rude. Regardless, she collected the goblins with glee, thinking this will never ever come back to bite me. Tee hee hee. Ah. Just do the, the roll over, just the roll. Just re reload the wisdom roll. Ugh, that's gonna, we're gonna have to reload that a lot. Oh boy, look at all those astral plane saves. Welcome in, I'm a ray of flipping sunshine. How's it going? Uh, all right, I think this was, uh, I think this was the, let's try loading this one. If it's not this one, we'll reload a previous one. Yeah, I've used five total. That's what I'm saying. Two on me. Two on... Two, so two on Java. Two on Astarian. One on Lazal. That's the five. I've not used five on just Java. That's crazy. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. So wait. I, I have to just then, I have to reload this each time? Right? That's what, is this really what we're doing? I'm just reloading this again and again and again till I get the roll right? Oi. No inspirations because I used it on the other fucking roll that I got the bunch of ones on. You should have killed him. Evolve, I know, Skizzy. But it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. I know. I'm this close, I'm this close to reloading to the point before I chose whether or not to side with the Emperor. Try and kill him and see what happens. I don't think I can. You can still kill him? Try and kill him, see what happens. Is there an option to try and kill him right now? It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. I it can't, I can't kill him. Yes, thank you. Zoom. The game really wants me to ruin my face. I know, dude. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another.
It's just not possible. It is just not possible. It is not fucking possible. This is my- this is my fifth one. I think this is my fifth one, right? The game says no. I know, dude. <sighs> Jamie, thank you for the gifted sub to you. Just rolled to one. <sighs> the story really wants me to have- yeah, I know, dude. Others dice skin for luck. Maybe let's do that. I gotta keep trying. I know. I- I- okay, so- so, okay. Uh, Cause I'm I'm half tempted to try and get to the point where I I um I'm trying to I'm tempted to go to the point before I chose between him and Orpheus, but you guys are saying that's a bad idea. Why is that a bad idea? Okay, let's change. We're gonna change to this lovely blue. <coughs> <coughs> Oh shit! Yeah, it's not a bad idea. It'll change a lot more. This is the thing. I, I, as soon as I'd made the, okay. Uh, 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 hang on. <laughs> let me, I'm trying to, let me try and cook the thoughts. I can't even celebrate the 20 right now. I'd okay, okay, okay. I'd really struggled to make the decision between siding with the Emperor or trying to side with Githyanki. I sided with the Emperor, but I was like, I'm choosing between bad and worse, right? And I was like, I have to choose the one that I think is not as bad. And then I found out it was Orpheus. I, and and then I felt really fucking bad. And I was like, great. So I've already regretted the decision to side with the Emperor. And so all I'm doing now by at this point is trying to minimize the damage as much as possible. But I feel like there's part of me that just wants to fucking reload to the point with the Orpheus thing, you know? But we did get the 20, so let's let's try and see how this goes. A wave of disappointment stronger than any you've ever felt. And then stillness. You've resisted your illithid instincts. For now. You are not ready yet. Keep hold of it then. Until you are. It has enough vitality to further your evolution. And your allies. Perhaps you will be more inclined to try it when you see more of what our enemy can do. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the brain, and bring it under our control. Okay. I'm doing a hard save here. Uh, sided Emperor resisted res resisted tadpole i'm surprised it actually fit that whole thing in there uh dap with 100 bit cheer thank you so much it all starts going down here when you kiss that vampire Tony, it's not this is not historian's fault i think time we should reload to act one to make up for this i also for those of you that are new in i'm so monumentally sorry i have never um this is the most that I've overthought something this entire time and the most that I've ever been in like tatters at this point and I'm still in tatters. Thank you for the follows guys. Welcome. And yeah, you thought I'd reload back there too. I'm I'm honestly I'm like sat here for a second like really considering. Save this and go back. I think I will. We love a respectful king who respects consent. Truly. Sub goal. Chat decides for you to take the astral touch tadpole. Not absolutely not. That's a 15 bajillion sub goal. I'm surprised I fit the- Oh, shush, Quinn. I should have realized I said that. Um, poor Star- It really is the most- Poor Star- I know. No, it really genuinely is. Poor Star- And he's always blamed somehow. I know, honestly. 
I know. Sorry, lovely YouTube people. I paused the recording um, because I was having an existential crisis and I've been existential crisising all over the place. And I was like, let me just like pause for a second. Uh, I realized I've just now unpaused it. I'm starting to do the level up stuff. I see that the emperor is floating about in the room where that we're in. And I do have half a mind to just try and fight the emperor. But I figured it might as well make sense to level up everyone first, which is what we're doing now. Um, so you've not missed anything. If you're watching this on YouTube, whenever I do post this, you've not missed anything except me uh, existential crisising to, to, <laughs> to Twitch chat and actually just sitting in silence for a little bit. But now everyone's favorite thing, um, leveling up. Luckily, Lazel, I think is relatively easy to level up. Improve combat superiority. Your size superiority dice increases to a D10. I gain the passive maneuver. Oh, maneuvers. Gain two passives. Maneuvers. What's what's a good one here? CM, thank you for the hydrate. I have got that dirge in her. This isn't... Okay. And yes, this isn't the be-all, end-all of this decision. Okay. Okay. So I really, really want to level up right now, though. Well, I did want to level up now so that I could... If I... If I... If I fight the Emperor, we're, at, we're all leveled up, right? And I guess there's no reason to not level up right now, right? Um, precision and pushing, people say, are good. You can spend a superiority dice to add it to the result of the attack roll. Spend a superiority dice to make an attack that deals an additional damage and probably pushes to... Oh, those are both good. Spend a superiority dice to make an attack that deals additional on hit. Select which friendly creature will gain half its movement speed. Oh my gosh. These are a lot. Existential Crisis has been the best part. Well, that's good. Thanks for the follows, guys. Welcome in. You like Rally? Expend a Spirit Dice to grant eight, an ally eight temporary hit points. Okay. Um, sweeping and fainting. Swing your weapon in a rapid sweeping arc to, oh, to attack multiple enemies. That's probably a good one. We get to choose two. I feel like that might be good. And then what's a fainting? You can use both your action and bonus action on a turn to attack a target with advantage. I don't know about that one. Maybe. It's actually not a bad one. That's not a bad idea. You gain, you can evade attacks by imposing disadvantage on melee attacks against me. Hmm. Hmm. I vote to make Gale eat the worm. Poor Gale. He doesn't get he doesn't get a chance, dude. I don't know about evasive. No, not that. You can use both your action and bonus action on turn to attack a target with advantage. Yeah, maybe we do that. Oh, I don't like sleeping because most weapons have cleave anyway. I don't think mine does. I have her using that long sword, which I don't think does. But maybe, okay, maybe we have menacing already, which is great. Maybe we remove sweeping. You can spend a spirit to add to the result of the attack. Yeah. Spend a spirit to make an attack that deals an additional damage and possibly pushes a target. It's not a bad idea. Hmm. 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 hydrate. Hey, Tuna, welcome in. Found your stream on YouTube literally yesterday. Been on the Borders Gate 3 obsession. Enjoyed the VOD. Hope the D&D parts haven't been too confusing. They were very confusing at first. One massive welcome in. I so love having people find the playthrough on YouTube and come over on Twitch. For those of you who will be listening on YouTube right now. Yes, that means you as well. Um, the D&D stuff at first was very confusing. I'm definitely getting the hang of it much, much more. Um, and today's stream is actually on tactician difficulty. As a little something different. Ain't the one. Welcome in. Precision attack is good. Let's do it. Let's do precision. Fine. Cool. Okay. <sighs> Me. What did I get? Dilo Dilophos Dilophosaurus. What in the world? Whoa! 
Take the shape of a Dilophosaurus whose corrosive spit can dissolve a target's armor class. Your Dilophosaurus shape has starting off with 75 hit points and increases every two druid well levels. I mean, jeez, Louise. Can trip, can trip. Poison spray. Produce flame. Throwing the flame immediately after you conjure it does not cost an action. Extinguishing or throwing it on subsequent turns costs an, act, costs an action. Okay. Make a target more resistant to spell effects and conditions. I might as well do the acid spray. Right? Poison spray, rather. I don't think- I don't trust myself with this one. Yeah, surely the poison spray is the best one, right? You love that wild shape, but the other ones are better. I've been obsessed with the owlbear, but I have to be a dino. Jarvis saw his frog, exactly. You can transform into elementals now. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, there's more. Wait, I've got more wild. No. What? No, this is the only new one that I got, right? Ah. What? Oh. Whoa. Air Myrmidon? Take the shape of an Air Myrmidon. Your Air Myrmidon shape has a starting health of 90 hit points. That increases every two druid levels. It can cast invisibility, electrified flail, and raging vortex. Okay. Earth Myrmidon. Your Earth Myrmidon has 103 hit points. Muck to metal. Harden your slippery body into a substance like steel, increasing my armor class and but reducing my movement speed. Sludging sling. Overwhelm creatures with painfully heavy sludge, mirroring the area around me in a thick mud. Burrow. Fire Myrmidon. Scorching strike. Okay, okay. Myrmidon's immolation. Hasten, okay. Cinder swipe. Okay. Water Myrmidon. Hymel. Hymel strike. Healing vapors. Explosive ice hang on. Exclude water. Exude water vapor with your general elemental dampness, healing nearby creatures. If you are poisoned, the water is tainted, and instead of healing, it deals poison damage. No, no, sorry, sorry. Good lord. For anyone that doesn't know, go, come come to class with, uh, with Professor Java. Um, the Myrmidons were the name of Achilles, right? Achilles Achilles is a Myrmidon. Oh no, the Myrmidons fought with Achilles, right? I think in uh, in uh, the Iliad, Homer's epic poem, the Iliad, off of which the story of the, well, no, which is the story of the Trojan War. I think, I think that's correct, right? Yes, yes indeed. There you go. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson with Professor Java. I also did see someone said, what mod is that, Gina? This is, thank you, um, CM, for, for the mods. It's the hair that's modded and um, <clears throat> the clothes. This is Oren's armor that I'm wearing that's been modded in um, in white. So uh, hair, hair and the outfit. But they, they, I don't get any perks with the armor. It's literally just cosmetic. Commanded by Achilles, yes. Yes. There you go. Yes. Myrmidon's a follower subordinate of a powerful person. Typically one who's under scrupulous or carries orders unquestioningly. Why? Okay. Am I correct? Now this part might be wrong. I Does Myrmidon have something etymo etymologically to do with ants? Or am I making that up? I feel like there's some relation between Myrmidons and ants, but I can't remember what that is. And that might actually be a horrendous lie. Um, I'll leave it up to someone who's more knowledge than I, or has access to a computer that you're using. 
Make a target more resistant to a spell's effects and conditions. It receives... It's like I would be using this on my allies. Right? That, okay, I'm, I'm correct in thinking resistance is something that you use on ally, but it requires concentration. I just don't see myself using that. I just don't think it's going to happen. Which is probably really silly. I think we're going to leave it like this, right? Haha, <laughs> shush, Paragon. Maybe you want resistance instead of poison cantrip. You think so? Yes, I'm correct. Yes. The Mervidons were said to have tr been transformed from ants. There you go. There you go. I've got it, guys. I've got it. <laughs> They're more uncles and aunts. Different ants. You can use on allies or in dialogue. Resistance is like bless and dice rolls to help with future rolls. Alright, let's do it. Fuck it, why not? We bought. <sighs> divine intervention. You can cast divine intervention to invoke your god's aid. Once used, this can never be Whoa! This once used, this can never be used again. Okay. Uh, film it. Would we both want resistance then, or not? I assume so. Prepare spells. I don't. Uh, let's remove. Let's remove something. Um, inflict inflict wounds, maybe. To spell evil and good. I think we've read that one. Or a planar binding. Target not the yeah, and attach it to the yeah, It will follow and fight for you as an ally. Fla oh, I've got flame strike here already. Yeah. Poison a target and possibly afflict them with a disease of my choice. Hmm. Sorry, though the armor, the modern armor scales with my character's level. It's actually less effective than most of the really good in-game armor that I could find. That's that's correct. There was a massive to-do at one point on uh, in, uh, on the YouTube videos about the whole armor thing. Um, but I'm actually making the game harder for myself. Well, actually, I'm making the game harder. Um, I'll never get tired of shadow hearts under boobs. I see. You're welcome, guys. I know what people want. Uh, I'll just. I think I'll just leave it like it is. I. I, I don't think I want to change out the spells right now. To be honest, let's just accept. Historian. Ay yeah 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 yeah. Acid splash. Bone. Oh, bone shell. Prevent the target from healing until your next turn. I mean, the targets don't really ever heal. Shocking grass. Target cannot use reactions. I like that. No. No. I feel like shocking grasp. It's either bone chill or shocking grasp. What are we thinking? AC is pretty useless. Which one's AC? Yeah, Kriya, I'll do a hard save. Yeah, Shadow Hearts Underboots are the only reason I sub every month. <laughs> yeah, screw it, screw it. I'm, I'm, I don't need to be entertaining. It's about the bloody underboob and not mine. Because I abide by TOS. Do bone chill? All right, bone chill. Yeah. <coughs> bone chill. Blur, crowd of madness, invisibility, phantasmal force. I have, I have, ooh. It's only one turn, ooh. These all suck. Deal damage to a creature each turn. The type of damage changes up to the last type the creature suffered. I mean, that seems like the best of the worst, no? Invisibility. I've been debating downloading mods, but playing it with a friend right now. Oh, makes that harder to use from what I've seen. They look so good, thanks. I know the modern ones are a bit less effective then. Yeah, 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 they, you don't get the perks. It's It scales, yeah, with the level, but they just, it looks so sexy. 
Um, these all suck. The invisibility, sure, whatever. I, I mean, I'm, frankly, I'm not going to use it. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Um... What are, what are we thinking? What's the vibe? The Siren's cantrips are trash, I know. That's why I'm like, what? it doesn't even matter. You could add fighter now. Fighter, 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 fighter. I don't see fighter. Right? I don't see it. Ability add decks. Oh, I can multi-class. I feel like, isn't that crazy involved? I feel like it's like a big, it's a whole big to do, no? It can be, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be boring and say fuck it. I'm just gonna leave him as the rogue. Two, like, two levels on fighter would give him axe and sh ac <laughs> <laughs> Two levels in fighter would give him axe and Two levels in fighter would give him action surge. Let's do it. That's, I mean, it is so helpful, I guess. Fighter. And then how do I add, how do I add the correct how, how do I <laughs> how do I how do I get it done properly so that he has action surge timber goes thank you for the tier one five months thank you so much thank you thank you redeem shout out action surge action surge action surge Java knows about murmur dance but multi classic let's not get carried away look I am what I am that's all that I am Mikey all right I actually loved reading the Iliad fighting style now Fighting? Oh, fighting style. Uh, what the? I think archery. No, sorry, I, I wasn't talking. I wasn't talking. I was just like mouthing silently. Dual hand bows, two handed. Ooh. Pow pow. I I almost exclusively use um archery with with uh, I like literally the only things I ever do with Astarian is get him hidden. And then I use his his ranged uh, sneak ranged wep uh, weapon thing. So we'll do we'll do two two weapon fighting, but with two bows, right? Sorry, it's too much trouble. Ditch him. Shush. Yeah, level up, Gale. It's easier, please. I guess I, what's 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 better, two handing two bows or leveling up in archery? I would think doing the two-handing the bows. If only if only using sneaks of the Starion, I'd respect him out of trickster and go either assassin or thief. Uh. How the hell do I do that? This is archery. You gain two plus bonus to ranged weapon attacks. I have one hand crossbow that I'm using now. 
I have to do it with withers. Cat, thank you so much for the tier one three months. You lovely. We in ta tried, yeah, we're tactical difficult, uh, ta tactician difficulty now. We need to respect the companions. Yep, 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 yep. You're so rude. I need to talk to withers. Archery to keep them safe. I know. Archery works with what I have now. That's what I think. Yeah, worry about respecting yeah when I get to act three. Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm not respecting now. Arcane trickster is so weak. Yeah, we already went through the fucking respect with Will and it was a nightmare. I'll do that. We'll do the two weapon fighting and if we need to respect, we'll do that in a different episode. Uh, okay. Sided Emperor resist pull level up. Can I fit Tad here? I don't know why I capitalized all these words, by the way. I can fit Tadpole. Sided Emperor resisted Tadpole leveled up. Can I please? Fuck. Leveled up. We'll know what that means. Um. Okay, save. Uh, short rest. Yeah, but now where's the emperor gone? Hello, where are you? There you are. Um. I saved, so I'm just doing this, like, for science. Myrmidon, Myrmidon. Water Myrmidon or, fi or Earth Myrmidon? What do we, what do we think? Which Myrmidon is best Myrmidon? For science, guys, for science. I'll do water myrmidon. I'll do earth myrmidon. These all suck. I shouldn't have done this one. Um oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. To battle. Stop. Oh shit. No, what? Of spell slots. Stop it. I am not your enemy. What? <laughs> Is this not surprising? Almost well. We're getting there. How are you feeling? How have you done? Did I save? Yeah, I saved. He's not even gonna fight me. That's crazy. I did say I'll continue I'll continue fighting just I'm curious if we can kill him the best defense. coming back next week so well, what were you what were you sick with what are you doing? Stop. careful I'm behind yes let's Stop it. I am not your enemy this is so weird. Stop. This is so weird. Stop it. I am not your enemy. I I can't decide if I'm gonna regret this or not. 
I just can't believe this is working. What are you doing? Stop. Step lightly. Stop it. I am not your enemy. Your stomach drops. Your chest constricts. Your thoughts begin to splinter. What are you doing? You are found. Now you hear me. Now you yield! Oh my god! Well, now I know! Don't do that in honor mode. Yeah, Jesus. Wow, guys. Wow. Did you not understand he was keeping your tadpole in check and resisting the brain for you? Look, listen. Listen, I told you I regretted siding with him. So I was like, let me just see what it's like to kill him. And then he was letting me kill him. So I was like, okay, awesome. Let me just continue doing this. How was I supposed to know? Yeah, now go on to Hol Hollow Knight. <coughs> Well, I think you said, I don't know exactly, but it was like a severe flu that lasted four weeks and turned into laryngitis. Swole, I'm telling you, I'm coming off of two weeks of it. And I'm today, it's like the first day that I'm even able to like hold even a remote period of time without hacking up an actual lung. It's been terrible, but four weeks is crazy. Well, on that note, I have to go frantically write a paper. Sans, thank you so much. Sansiax, thank you, thank you. Good luck with your paper. Uh, all right, well. He makes himself indispensable. I hate him, same. I hate him very much. Basic, hey, welcome in, lovely. How's it going? Oh, it's a game, dude, relax. What do you mean, Sigma? Science was done, it was for science, yeah. What I wrote James, yeah. Brain to Brian. You had it in December. It's been horrendous. It's been so bad. That's why I've been away for as long as I have been. It's not for fun, unfortunately. Enough time wasted. <sighs> right. Battle awaits. Yeah. Uh, all no, right. Home will ever believe this. Boots. I still feel very sad. I feel, I feel I've made a terrible choice. But we're so deep into it now. We're, we're, we're carrying on. Moving ahead. I had the flu once and couldn't even walk. Oh my God, that's horrendous. It's brutal. But I, it's been good to, or like interesting to know that there have been a lot of people, like a lot of people I know have been really, really sick. You'll be fine. Yeah. Mm. Same happens if you side against him. Really? Chat when Java's doing mundane stuff. Yeah, Java no, Java why? That's chat when Java's about to literally die. Yeah, straight chilling. You guys are totally fine. Uh, I don't even need to save again. No shot, Rialto, really? The boots are amazing for monks, by the way. Good to know. Okay. Please tell Jav what happened when you tickle the underside of a purple tentacle. Like, what does that even mean? Did I do the Githyanki crash? Yes, I did. Same happens if you side against him initially. Wait, so hang on. 
is there no is that is there no realm in which you know okay you know how i was like oh i may reload to try and i know how do i say this you know when i was like oh i may reload to try and save side with orpheus now that i know it's orpheus um is that the same outcome that happens pure railroad bro i can't fucking believe it guys i can't fucking believe it <sighs> i've spent this whole stream in existential fucking crisis and it was the illusion of choice all along. That's crazy. I actually, I'm sorry. I actually just want to punch like my fist through my monitor. That's our streamer overthinking things. Look, well, look, um, this is my formal apology, okay, to Twitch chat. And those of you watching this on YouTube, I didn't know. I didn't know. Can you blame me? Maybe. All right. I'm in therapy. I go to therapy once a week for overthinking, okay? So don't type the comments. I know now, okay? And I'm sorry. This is my formal apology. <laughs> I hate everything. Get me the fuck out of here. Can I talk to you? Oh, I wonder what happens if I, hang on. I don't need to save, right? I might as well just do, just, just one more save. To be safe. Tee -hee. Hey, Drunken, thank you so much for the gifted sub, you lovely. Thank you, thank you. First playthrough, it's understandable. We love an overthinking queen. Thank you, guys. It's an entertaining. As long as you guys are entertained. I hope so. Here we go. The orb hums with cerebral magic. Permeable. Impenetrable. Okay, well. Just leave me alone. The Githyanki prince Ooh. is as silent as a corpse. But for the murmur of his powers being siphoned away. Anonymous, thank you for the gifted sub to Crooked Streamer. For anyone that doesn't have context, I'm not a crooked person. I, I, they think that the frames in my room are crooked. So it's a running joke to gift subs that have the word crooked in it, okay? I feel the need to defend myself against that one there. They're not crooked. You guys think they're crooked? They're not. Jesus flipping christ i don't know why i censored myself two new journal updates what are the journal updates destroy the nether brain the nether brain is too powerful to let live destroying it may be the smartest thing whoever has control over the nether brain will hold unspeakable power we could dominate it and have a thousand kingdoms at our command get orin's nether stone or in the last the lash of ball is hiding somewhere in borders gate with a nether stone we must find her and take it volo has become the what? Volo has become our most loyal ally. His powerful words of encouragement are short our backs in the trials to come. Halson is grateful for our help protecting his sanctity of life. We can count on his formidable druidic powers should the needs arise. Freeing ourselves of the parasite is proving more difficult than we imagined. We should be on the lookout for powerful allies. We'll likely need them in the fight to come. The Emperor has given us the means to unlock the next stage of our Illithid transformation without becoming mind flayers. If we commune with the astral touchpad tadpole, we will evolve, which is not going to happen. Kithrak Voss, a Githyanki knight, planned to meet someone at Sharis's caress who knows how to free Orpheus. We should look for answers there. The powers behind the cult of the absolute left Moonrise Towers, but Mole still hasn't shown up. We shouldn't lose hope. Maybe we'll find her on the way to Baldur's Gate. Night Song decided to camp with us. We should see what the wizard in Baldur's Gate wants with her. Dame Aelin revealed the truth to Shadowheart. She was not saved by the Sharons as a child, but abducted and indoctrinated by them. 
Furthermore, her parents still live in Sharon captivity and are bound to their daughter by a curse. The source of the pain that emanates from Shadow Hearts is wound. Shadow Heart must make for Baldur's Gate in order to rescue her parents and free herself from Shah's influence. Gortash was Karlak's former boss, someone she trusted. He betrayed her, consigning her to a life in the hells. She wants her revenge, but first we have to find him. We discovered that an ancient Githyanki prince called Orpheus was being held prisoner inside the artifact. We should talk to Lazel about him. Raphael told us about the rite of profane ascension. Casador plans to perform it, sacrificing his vampire spawn in exchange for great power. Astarion is the only missing piece of the ritual and Casador needs him back. Astarion told us he wants to take the fight to Casador in Baldur's Gate. Astarion thinks we need to find some of his fellow spawn if we want to learn about Casador's plans. Apparently, they used to hunt for victims in the dens of the city. Gale wants to learn more about the Netherese crown controlling the Elderbrain. In Baldur's Gate, there is a renowned magical emporium, Sorceress Sundries, known for its collection of rare and valuable magical tomes. He wants us to go there and speak with their bookseller and find out if they have anything on Netherese magic. The Mind Flayer revealed itself as none other than our dream visitor. It is a rogue elithid and just like us, it wishes to be free of the Elderbrain's domination. By helping it to subdue the Githyanki Prince Orpheus, we remain protected from the Absolute's power. We successfully listed the Shadow Curse. In time, these lands will flourish once again. We learn that Prince Orpheus is trapped inside the Astral Plane. That was a lot of reading. <laughs> Top Nuts Annunciation. Thank you very much. <laughs> Did you see my last question? No. <laughs> what, what was your last question? Boss, what time did you schedule movie for? And do I need to edit the event? Yeah, probably. What time did I schedule it for? Uh, okay. Yes, that was a lot, a lot of reading. Oh, hello. Uh, okay. Um, I, I'm actually a mold, molding a little bit that it was all just the illusion of choice that I didn't we didn't have an option anyway Also guys, it's a good thing. I stopped the previous stream when I did this that's taken me three hours to do this And about half of that time was spent effing overthinking Well, let's talk to people who wants to talk to me Lazal, of course um, let's go talk to Lazel. Where the hell is she? There she is. Uh, let's just save. Don't want to be an arsehole, but early in stream you talked about wanting to finish games quicker. The last 0.01% of Act 2 you took one stream to do. What I said was, to clarify, I want to finish games quicker but not by rushing through, but by streaming like more <laughs> and not playing so many games at one time so that I finish it in a shorter like time span, but not less time. It's a very subtle distinction, <laughs> but an important one. I need a moment for the two of us. Orpheus, Gith's only son. He lives. <clears throat> it is not the Gaith visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Vos would set free. It is Orpheus, the blood of the mother, the prince of the comet. The blood of the mother, who is he exactly? A mighty powerful prince, if he can block a lithid hive mind. What makes Orpheus such a threat to Vlakith? The blood of the this is blood of the mother. Okay, let's do. Who is he? Listen close. The Empress spoke only in half truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Vlakith. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the hells to secure an alliance with the archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the hells. And Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. 
It is Vlakith 157, whom my people now call Queen. What? 157? That's a lot of Vlakiths. Yes. Our current Queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Okay. Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlakith I. It was Kithrak Voss himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle. Or so the Varshis teach us. Yet the prince of the comet's been with us, subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakith's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. Isn't Kithrag Voss the one trying to, to, isn't he the one trying to, I have to read the journal. There was, he, he was one trying to, to see her already, right? No? We get more Java, more Shadow on the boob. Yeah, exactly. There you go. I ain't complaining. As an overthinker, Final Fantasy VII will be a nice break. No, totally. From needing to make meaningful decisions. A hundred percent. I actually, there's something that I so love about, um, about um uh, i love games like this we think we're really analytical or whatever but then i do love games that are on like rail rail tracks rail you're on railroads you're on train track like you don't i don't have to make choices i can just like play through the game and like play the narrative that they want that they want you to play um and that feels really good thank you guys for the follows by the way thank you thank you thank you um what happens now the boss was right Orpheus is a seat no 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 no. what happens now we meet Voss in the city and we obtain the key to freeing Orpheus from his prison every word Voss spoke he spoke true Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies and the living weapon that conquered our Geich slavers one word from his lips and the people would doubt two words and they would rage three words and they would bow to the true heir. If the Githyank here to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. I'd like to talk more about Orpheus, the Emperor's astral touch tadpole promised exceptional powers. I guess let's try to do this. What about him? Why is he called Prince of the Comet? The historical slates describe Orpheus as a fearsome, terrible creature powerful beyond measure and enthralled by the geich so mad with power he'd smash through the githyanki empire and deliver the shards to his illithid masters and glowing with such psionic force that he and his red dragon blazed a trail through the skies a lethal comet careening towards my people lies of course Vlakid spread a false image of Orpheus as monstrous betrayer and her knights as the butchers who sliced him through. She was right to fear him, I'll grant her that. So great is the comet, it could shatter her reign. Why did Vlakid keep Orpheus lies all those millennia ago? Who were the hostile Githyanki in the prism? I hope we can ask both of them. The Emperor may be loathsome, but it's right. Orpheus can disrupt a gay hive mind. A talent like that makes the Prince a powerful shield and a powerful weapon. Why destroy a weapon like that when you can contain it in a relic and keep it for yourself? Why would Vlakith want Orpheus dead now if he's so valuable alive? A weapon is only an asset for as long as it isn't pointed at you. The means of Vlakith's own end has been ripped away from her. Better to have Orpheus killed than to risk his escape. Better to risk the rise of Illithids than let the Prince of the Comet deny her the godhood she craves. Who were the hostile Githyanki in the prison? We're, we're finding out a lot of information. Sorry, sorry. Orpheus is honor guard, loyal to the end, trapped by Vlakith in the same prism holding their noble prince, fruitlessly hacking at the sphere that contains him. They see us as Geich, 
tadpoles husks in the Empress thrall. I regret their deaths. But I pledge to live as they perished, in the service of Gith's son. Okay. Uh... Very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Journal updates, journal updates. Yay, journal updates. <laughs> if we've just read the whole thing. I do love this game, by the way. I've not yet played Bioshock, but I definitely do want to. Thank you, Mikey. Thank you, thank you. Final Fantasy VII is at least 15 reasonably chunky streams. Uh, we need to start that soon, then. Uh, yeah. Uh, find Voss in Charis's caress. We spoke to Lace after finding out the prisoner in the astral prism is Orpheus. She wants to meet Voss in Charis's caress. I hate that it's called that. I think I must be mispronouncing it. Lazelle is eager to speak to Kithrak Voss at Charis's caress. He knows someone who can help free Orpheus from his prison. Well, this is good. This is good. This is at least what we were hoping for. Um, mercifully, is it even worth like? Do we should I talk? Do, do we care about what's just happened? So, there's been a mind flayer inside the artifact, or astral prism, the whole time we've had it. Sounds like utter madness, even though I've seen it with my own eyes. The more I learn, the less I understand just why I was sent to retrieve that thing. But it matters little now. I do not serve Shah anymore, nor the Mother Superior. The prism is no longer my mission. Saving my parents is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I digress. Did you want something? No, we're all right. I think that special tap all the Emperor offered will increase. No, 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 no. I don't think that. I don't think that at all. And I now actively don't want to take a tadpole ever again. So let's go over here. Bloody hell. How's it going, Giant Slaw, by the way? The game needs hard on the path of fate, so if you play the original, you know the path. And I've not played the original Final Fantasy. That's what you're talking about, Final Fantasy VII, right? I've not played any of them. So the when I start Final Fantasy VII playthrough, that will be um, the first of my playthroughs of the sevens. <laughs> the remake wants to make seven movie canon, so there might be more hints towards the movie. You are saying it right. Shares is the cat god of lust. Well, then no wonder it's called Shares's caress. It's meant to be like a cheeky rhyme, I suppose. In that sense. What? You skipped over Will again. Poor Will. Oh, where are you, Will? Where are you? Will? Well, I'm not. Uh, I'm not talking to all of them. I, 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 I should talk to all of them, motherfuckers. Where are all of you? I know I can do this. I just gotta. I've just gotta remember to do that. Where? Where is he? Wasn't he right opposite Lazel? I swear he was right opposite her originally. Shadowheart, Lazel, Starion. Maybe, maybe it's just the people that I went to the astral plane with that I can talk to here. Cause, yeah, cause no, no one, no one else is here. I think. Well, that's the story, and I'm sticking to it. Cause I can't find Will. I don't know. Oh, only the active party here. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. If you haven't played the original Final Se Fa if you haven't played the original Final Fantasy VII, many plot points and twists of the remake will mean nothing to me. It's a huge four of a game called a remake. That sucks. I'm still excited to play, but that does really suck. <clears throat> so, we owe our lack of tentacles to one of the very creatures that kidnapped us, and now it's offering us power if we're willing to <laughs> evolve. Oh. Um, <laughs> he can feed on me tonight, but this it, that we gotta focus here. Oh, never mind. I well, I don't want to discuss the tadpole. Do I? Maybe I do. Let me let me discuss it, but I don't want to use it. I'll just chat to him about it. We both know what it is capable of. 
but I'm not touching it. Good man. Unlike you used to be so unwilling to receive a new power. Why don't you want to use it? Let's, let's, let the two is presumptuous. Let's, let's, why don't you want to use it? I remember how it hurt when I turned into a vampire. My body writhed and warped while I was utterly helpless. The grip of death owned my heart as it beat its last. I don't want to turn into anything else. I can't do that again. I can't watch my body be taken over. What a great response. What the, what the fucking sucks? What a great response from him. My three options are, are you're afraid, dickheadish, what's a little pain, fucking wrong. And then this, all right, I won't speak on the, on, I will speak on, I will speak no more on the matter. That sucks. But this, cause it's, part of me wants to say you're afraid, but it sounds like I'm goading him. Like I'm not taking it. And he's obviously not afraid. I, that sucks. I had nothing for so long. Nothing, not even my own body. I will not give it up. Now it's mine again. Brilliant. Very, very interesting. Is there I like that. You want to talk about, my dear? My favorite historian line revolves around leaving. Ah. Ooh. I don't know. Leaving him to die in a certain location. Jesus. Then I'll see your delicious self tonight. Jesus. Jesus. Um, is this the one that I say to get the kiss? I'm all pointy ears, my love. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get enough. I'm not surprised. Kissy, kissy. It's been a long day, my love. We've gone through a lot. And a little reassurance. Thanks for the follows, guys. Welcome in, lovelies. <sighs> Delicious. Uh, okay. Oh, not that, not that. Leave. Bloody hell. <laughs> I wonder how long this whole section normally takes people. Probably like an hour. It's taken me three and a half. Three, three and 20 minutes, I think. <laughs> Honestly, for once I'm, oh, not the dead body sleeping right by us. For once I'm thrilled that there's been the, the no, nothing more, ha What the fuck has happened to your hair? Maybe because she's rejected Shaw and she's embraced Salune? Oh my God, everyone wants to talk to me. Because you guys are both blonde, right? Like that white blonde, yeah? I think that's what's happened. Okay, well, we have a lot of people to talk to. Let's go in order. I don't think. Fright. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's talk to everyone. Something is different about Shadowheart. New facial creases, perhaps. A fresh battle scar I hadn't noticed. Bah. It eludes me. Okay. All right, Lazelle's not very observant. Love Shadowheart's new look. Softer, less severe. It suits her. I don't like that. I don't like that, Will. I like her with her dark hair. I mean, she looks nice like this. 
I love it. He's also very much. Yeah. Goddess Shaw. Thank you for the tier one seven months. You nervy. Hey, Moon Goddess Queen. How are we doing? We're, we're, we're getting there. Thank you for the hydrate. You'd lovely. Someone's mentioned, don't forget to talk to Jahira. Where is Jahira hiding? Up here. Let's go talk to Jahira. Remember that thing she wanted to take care of and you said you should just leave it with her? No, I don't. Who I who who wants to take care of? walks a little freer of the shadows. She could shave her skull and paint it purple. It would still suit her. Okay. Ask it. Um. Oh. Okay. Back down, Shadow Hot. Something that Shadow Hot wanted to take care of. No, I can't remember. To be fair, it's been like two weeks since I played the game. Unless she said it this stream, in which case, I, I feel bad that I don't know that. Be honest. What do you think of the new look? I don't like it because you look too much like me now. <laughs> this is my look. She's stealing my look. If it helps put the past behind you, I'm all for it, which is true. That is true. Does that sound a bit passive aggressive? Maybe. I am thank you for the 100 bit cheer. Shadow heart turn into sweet heart. Boom. What a reason. What do you mean? What do you mean? If it helps you put the past, I'm all for it. Yeah. Gate. What am I gatekeep? Oh yeah, the look. Oh oh yeah 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 yeah. Ha <laughs> Never mind. I'm, I'm influential, actually. That's right. She's she's influ. It's even got like the same kind of bluish hue to my like my hair does. I'm glad, though. <coughs> I don't think I'm quite done with the past yet. Not until I've been to Baldur's Gate. It's gonna require a bit of a makeover. I mean, I like that the outfit suits her new path as well. But I feel like I have to change. You know, there's other bits and bobs that I want to change there. Let's talk to Carla, can I was gonna say twinsies, we look so similar. I know, I don't know how I feel about it. Thank you, Gordon, you angel. Flu, cold, COVID case have been going so strong. Everyone I know, I, we were talking about it earlier. So many people have gotten so sick. Gods, a mind flare has been getting their tentacles all over our dreams this whole time. I'm really not sure about putting any trust at all in this thing. It's already shown itself a liar. Exactly. I've got my eyes on the Emperor, and Karlak doesn't blink. Good on you. Too bloody right. I I am all for it. I agree. Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. It's been a long century. Yes, it's the same hue. It's got this like, it's not quite like the white blonde. It's got, I guess, it's a yellowish hue to it. Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. All right. Interesting. I feel like I want to change up Shadow Heart's outfit or something, but I like the outfit. There's something about the whole look that's not blending together. And I don't get to change her makeup. Because I feel like maybe it's the makeup I would change. I feel like it's not, it's not clicking fully. Um, but I don't know exactly why I feel like that. <coughs> <coughs> I, she must do, Daddy, right? She must get her power from no Saluno. No more radiant sight than that of someone who's learned to love themselves anew. Too Shadowed bloody right. Name, but no longer in spirit. It suits her. That's probably my favorite thing Gail said. Shadowed in name, but no longer in spirit. Nope. Okay, cool. Um, let's go talk to Astarian and then have us have him heal us. Hey, Capsule G, <gasps> bless you. Only barely. It's been it's been rough. But poor Swole, who I think is still here. You have platinum mohawk right now. I want to see you. I saw you color it, but I didn't see the final result. Um, but Swole and some others have been sick for like four weeks. Four weeks. I mean, Jesus. No, never mind. I was two weeks. 
Oh, we have a new look for a new shadow. It's heart. kind of the same. Nice as it is, yeah. she still doesn't have the best hair in the camp. Sorry, I muted myself to cough. I have the best hair in the camp, right? Right? Darling, <coughs> I thought you'd never ask. I'll oh, Halson. I've got to find Halson. Um. Where is Holson? Where is he? Gail. Um, Shadowheart. Lazal. Where the shit is he? Oh, Scratch wants to talk to me. Oh, Halson's naked. Catch a break. <laughs> I think Halson's just gonna stay naked. Oh, Scratch. Scratch wants to talk as well. Oh, bloody hell. I was concerned when I saw Shadowheart creeping about with a blade in the dead of night. But it was just to cut her hair, it seems. It suits her. Don't be such a himbo. It's obviously not to cut her hair, you moron. He, she coloured it. <laughs> you si you're absolute silly Billy. Why do people think she cut it? She coloured it. Us closer. God, Shadowheart looks like a stack of gold. What a great response. <laughs> Never thought I could get so excited about someone's forehead, but here we are. What do you mean her forehead? It's still covered. Why is everyone ill? I, 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 am I missing something? No, maybe, no, no, maybe her hair, no, maybe we can see her forehead now. Maybe that's the difference. Almost pleasant traveling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. Shadow Heart had art ho bangs before, right? And now it's this side swoop thing. I think she had the art ho bangs. Yeah, now it's this side sweep situation. Mm, okay, all right. Then it was fair for people to say I've never been so excited about her forehead. Art ho bangs, yes. The little baby bangs, like an art ho. <laughs> the dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. Oh, nice. What you got there, Scratch? Money. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. Pristine. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Okay. Pristine mesh sandals or something? Incredible. Mesh toe sandals, what? Shithole sandals then, it seems like, huh? Jeez Louise. Quick save successful, guys. Let's get the hell out of here. Save, 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 save. Leave camp. Oh shit, you could ask Aelin to join the camp permanently. Fuck. Did I fuck up and not talking to her now? Like, do I need to talk to her before I leave camp to get her to stay? Okay, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, okay. <laughs> Jesus, I've already reloaded enough during today's stream, I can't do it again. Must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves and take their nether stones. Okay. <laughs> I feel overwhelmed. <laughs> I mean, I knew we were going into a city area, but Jesus Christ, there's so much to see and do. Jesus, Louise. But we did it. We officially ended Act Two. Good, good Lord. Yeah, and now the game truly begins because of Act Three. Jesus. Lovely people watching us on YouTube. Thank you so much. I 
started off today's streaming session and started off the YouTube intro saying that we were at the unofficial end of Act 2 and we'll just finish up, tidy up whatever's left of Act 2 and go on to Act 3. Ha ha ha. Um, I spent the whole of this playing session, which is almost four hours worth. I assume this episode is going to be almost four hours long. Um, completely wrapping up Act 2 and we've only just now sniffed the beginning of Act 3. Um, so thank you so much for being here. In the next episode, obviously, we will be properly tucking into Act 3. Hopefully with slightly less overthinking than I've done in today's episode, but we all know that's not going to be the case. If you enjoyed yourself, it would mean the world to me if you could leave a like, leave a comment. And if you really enjoyed yourself, it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe to the channel. I love having people in Twitch chat. I would love to have you guys in Twitch chat. It brings a heart, like a heart. It makes my heart happy. It brings a smile to my face to see so many of you pop in chat and say, I saw your playthrough on YouTube. I wanted to come in. So if that sounds like a bit of you, if it sounds like your cup of tea, we would love to have you come join in. I've also got all socials. We have a Discord. I'd love to have you guys join the Discord. Uh, so with that, I will see you in the next episode which is definitely act three thank god